Oh yeah, we are back in the Hunter Classic, and it's a big coyote weekend this week in the Hunter Classic. Plenty of prizes to be had. If you enter the competition, is called Coyote Ugly. There's up to ten prizes, ten people, which include EMs and trophy. First prize is a thousand EMs, I think. So what I'm going to do? I have to change all my weapons out. I'm going to take a bullpup. Uh, I'm going to put a scope on that bloody thing. going to take our 223 semi-auto, which we already have in the classic. He's all still waiting for one <laughs> in the uh, Call of the Wild. Don't worry, we already got him here, man. Don't worry about that crap. And what else? We need ammo, man. So we've got to make sure we've got the right callers. So I'm going to bring some bows and arrows. Ooh, 30 of them should be good. I might need too many... Um, of the ballpark ones, but we do have um, some Roosevelt elk here, so bring a couple of packets for them. And I'll need 223, which is here for my semi auto. That's a nice, quiet gun. Uh, so I got four packs for them, plus that will take that, make it five, we'll take some more arrows. Uh, four of them. Equipment. What do we have on us? Duck callers. They're no good. We've got a Labrador. We don't need that. And uh, we're going to need... Well, first off, Jackrabbit. We need an elk bugle caller. We need a deer grunt. And we need a turkey caller because we do have turkey here. So, I'm not even full of stuff, man. I wonder if I can bring camping gear in case I need it. I can. So now we're full. We don't have a dog today, and it's going to be me. So uh, let's load the weapons. Now I'm in the middle of White Heart Island here. I'll show you the map in a minute. Let's reload this. Beautiful gun, this one. And we are here, right at this uh, tent here. I'm going to go down here a bit. I do have a tree stand there. I do get a fair few coyote um, hanging around there. So this is the weekend. If you like hunting coyote... And you think you're pretty good at it, this is the weekend to do it. Because uh, plenty of prizes, plenty of everything going on. Uh, what bumped me then? It's not a dog? No dog. Alright, I probably just uh, <laughs> walked into something. So you can get Coyote at White Hart Island and uh, Loggers Point. Uh, both pretty good for Coyote. I thought I'd come here. I do have a nice uh, stand at Loggers Point where I got a lot of Cody as well. I thought we'd come here first. I'm going to call Erifin that's hanging around. So yeah, there's black tail and white tail on this uh, island as well. So let's just uh, take our time going to the tree stand and see how we do. Oh, there's a female elk we don't need. She's just over there. Go away. I <laughs> do not want you. So yeah, it should be good. I like hunting coyote, actually. So there is two. Actually, there was two competitions for coyote for me. There was the top three and coyote ugly, which is the big one for the weekend. Plenty of people are in it. So if you do okay in that one, you've done really good. Because there is a ton of people in it. Alright, we haven't been here for, uh, I don't know, maybe two weeks? Three weeks since we've been to uh, White Hart. Um, yeah, I was on the other side of the island last time. We saw that big thing sticking out the sea. I don't know if it's still there. Look pretty cool though. I don't want to overcall the coyote yet because I want to get to my tree stand and then sort of start to bring them around the area. And if we can, we'll take them out with the bow and arrow because it's nice and quiet. But anyway, failing that, we've got the 223. We can whip the scope off of that so we can use it better close up. It does have a nice iron sight on it. And uh, yeah, try our luck. Now I'm hoping to get a couple or a few just to set the standard in the see where the standard is in the competition. So 
So yeah, let's uh let's get on down there and see what we can find. Now apparently there's some problems with flogging in in this game. I didn't have problems. I have had before. Every now and again says an error occurred, but then it, you know you try again it logs in. And apparently picking up animals sometimes can be a problem. They're saying they're working on the back end and trying to get this thing fixed. So hopefully that'll happen over the weekend. I've had problems every now and again picking them up. Like the thing just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning around. Um, yeah. Nothing too, uh, too bad. All right, we're nearly at the tree stand. It's pretty weird not having my dog with me today, but uh, it's, uh... Oh, there's a female turkey we don't want either. The males are worth a few bucks, the turkeys. They're well worth shooting. You can get over 100 GM for one nice male turkey. Believe it or not. There it is there, look. Female turkey, mate. It's going to walk straight towards us. So there's no score on that, so it's not worth shooting. But she doesn't appear to have any anyone with her. So we're just going to keep going. I'll leave her alone. I'll make our way down here nice and quietly. Keep this area, if I can... You know, I'll try not to use any guns, but every now and again I will have to use them. There goes the turkey. She's run. Look at that. They are very sensitive. She's taken off <laughs> like the road runner. Look funny. Now, hopefully I'm not too early, though, today. I've started an hour earlier than I usually would in game. Maybe even sometimes two hours earlier. Hoping that the coyote are awake early. Uh, I'll walk normal now. Nearly there. Man, we've got a few here last time I was here, and I think I was hunting blacktail. I don't know. <laughs> so how we go. I've already got a lot of blacktail today now that I'm hunting coyote. Things work in reverse sometimes. They're not a problem. But I usually do get a fair few coyote running through here. So I'm hoping today it's the same deal. I might get an elk as well. Blacktail hang around here. I do get the odd white tail, but they're mainly on the other side of the island. You will get them here. Alright, one more road to cross. What's that? There's a blacktail track there. Man, it's a bit smoky out here this morning. A bit foggy. I'll go back to crash for a little bit now we're getting closer. I want to put a few more um, tree stands on roads like this. They're actually pretty cool. Put them on roads. And I'll you know, just call the deer up from the bush down here. And give him a wallopin. There's a female black tail. Hey, Red Dragon, how you going? And Boom Slang. I'm pretty good, thanks. Just uh, coming out for a bit of a hunt today. Hope you're all doing good, too. I actually like hunting at White, uh, White Heart Island. It can be a very difficult map. It can be very slow at times. But uh, when it pays out, it's a pretty good map. Alright, we're almost there. This crawling is, uh, <laughs> feels so slow. I can hear another turkey flapping. Very scared it off. Alright, a tree is just over there. I can see the tree stand in it. Yeah, so we'll call out, we'll start calling Cody. Oh, we'll find the right caller. Uh, the problem with Cody, sometimes they won't make a sound. They come in nice and silently. 
So you got to keep your eyes and ears open. Because they're easy to, uh, you know. Is it a come in under your feet and you don't r realize it till it's too late sometimes? But since we're in the tree stand, we're going to be harder to, uh, for them to know that we're here. So here's the tree stand. Let's get in it. We'll go to crouch. We are in crouch. Very good. So now that we're here, let me sort out this. I won't need the bullpup. We'll put that there. We'll put 10 arrows. We're going to pull the scope off this gun. Because now that we're sitting here, like if a coyote comes in, uh, this thing has a great iron sight, and the scope will just sort of ruin it all for you. There we go. We're ready. All we need is a coyote. Oh, I hate that. Look at that. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Make you go crazy. I'll also call other animals while we're here. See what we can get in. But the main thing I'm hunting for today is the coyote. So. It's nice when you hear them in the distance. You know, you hear them you know, give a howl and you know they're around. And then once you start to call them, they will come in. And a lot of times they come in in threes and fours. Every now and again they'll be single. But yeah, just uh, the wait, waiting for them. But I have to give it a shot. Big uh, Every time they have a nice big hunt with ten prizes, I'll have to give it a shot because there's a lot of people in it. And if you do good in that competition... You know, you've sort of, uh, you've done really well for the amount of people that are in it. Oh, there's a, there's a male, uh, black tar. We'll give him another, another call. He's in seven, isn't he? Here we go. Now, he might come up in a weird way on me here. He is down here somewhere. Uh, it could be right on the, you know, behind the tree, which is, uh, you know, well, that's a bummer. I'll give him a couple of calls. That's why I like to crouch when I walk down here, so we haven't startled him. We haven't scared him off. Oh my god, I'm hearing something coming in. Okay, here. Oh, what is that? I think this is a female yeah I got a female we don't want her I'm just trying to ignore her like I can take her out the bone arrow I'm just gonna try and ignore her and see if the male walks in she might uh, she spooks it could be all over I didn't see this map. There he is. There, look. That's not too bad. At, um, I might get rid of her then. <sighs> All right, so we can keep calling on him, and she won't spook anymore. No, we didn't scare him off. Shouldn't have. He was far enough away not to hear that, or was he? Like, come on, game. Do not do this to me. Where'd it go? Seriously. I didn't hear it run off. Usually you can hear them run off. Oh, come on, man. See, the female might have ruined everything. I know, he's still there. There he is. So we're good. We'll get him, hopefully. Oh, wrong, wrong call. <laughs> So that's good. We'll get him, hopefully. We'll use a bow and arrow. Uh, sounds like I think I hear more feet behind me here. I'm just hearing stuff. Uh, just hearing things. There he is. He's coming in a roundabout way, which is good. I, I prefer him to come out this way, so then I get a better shot on him than directly under me. That's not too bad a one. Should pay, you know, a few GM if we do get him. I don't really want to use the gun on him. Try and use the bow and arrow. 
he's over to look around, making sure he is safe. He is not safe, <laughs> but uh, he's, he's trying to make sure he is. There he comes. He's a good boy. Oh, don't stop. Just keep walking, mate. He'll be right. That's the way. So, we're going to use the bow and arrow on him. That uh, bow and arrow on him. <laughs> you can't use a 223 on a, a deer like this. It's too small. Smaller caliber. All right, he should stop. And there he is. He's stopping. Oh, we smacked him a beauty. Uh, I'm going to actually try and pick him up. Um... Before we do anything else, we'll get rid of this girl here. Uh, she'll be worth nothing, so not a problem. Oh, I'm getting a, the odd lag spike when that happens. Mate, there is a little bug in the game at the moment. This looks like a lot of blood. I'm hoping we've hit a lung and not just a body. Yeah, we've hit a lung. Some of you can't, you know, if you go through the top of the neck, you'll hit the, the lung on that side. And it looks like we've done that. So that'll slow him down. They still can run a bit. They just bleed out. Which is fair enough. I don't mind. I've got pretty good tracking of these things. I don't really need a dog for a lot of the animals I track. But it's good to have the dog out here. No dog today. Oh, he's bleeding all the way. So he shouldn't get too far. Losing this much blood. He should be down soon. No, I'm getting that turkey track now. And there's my blood of the... Come on. Okay, there we are. It can be a bit of a problem when tracks overlay each other. Alright, so apparently he went up here. Man, is he uh, got the burners on? Uh, now it's running. Oh, can hear a turkey taking off. There it goes. Come on, just be here, Matt. Don't be too far away. But I should hopefully get like, I don't know, 50 GM for this thing. He is running in a pretty straight line, I'll give him that. Oh, that is dead straight, man. As I was saying that, he'll probably turn now, won't he? Oh, no, still going straight. Oh, man, he's gone back down here. You do get a lot of deer down here. It's right near the water. Oh, you see his tracks down there. We have a body down there. Not yet. Can't be, he's got to be along the shore then. Oh man, we did get a long shot in the game set. I'm hoping uh, that's the case. All right, fling. Ah, oh, here he is. So let's see what we get. I reckon maybe 50 GM. Alright, with the neck, blade, shoulder blade in the right lung. 40. Alright, 40. And it was a weight of 60 and a score of 76. So. Oh, I tried. I'm in a competition for black tar. I think with a bow and arrow, the man in black. So I'll go back to the tree stand now. The area is still pretty cool. Like, the way, uh,. Coyotes come in and out. Should be pretty cool. Oh, there's a male turkey there. They're making walk over to us. Oh, 
I like the, the male turkey. You get a good one, you get like, you know, 100, 129 GM, something like that, just for the one bird. Very nice. But we want coyote. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a few. Alright, so so far, one black tail. Oh, female. They don't count. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, we're nearly back. Man, he uh, got pretty far, that black tail. Oh no, five. There we go. Now the coyote do um they like um they come to the jackrabbit caller really good. I do have a uh, one of those um you know them uh, what do you call them? It's like a lure and it's got two tails on it and it spins. I've got it at Hammerdale. So if I had to board it here and put it near them turkeys there, when you do call the coyote in, then they walk up to that and sort of look at it and that gives you your you know it'll give you a better shot at the animal. Because it'll probably stand still, looking at that thing spinning, wondering what it is. Uh, something just ran over there. I think it was a deer. Sounded like a deer. Turkey may be following us. All right, let's get back in our tree. Because that's when we're not making noise. Thank you. All right, go back to crouch. We'll call... Cody first. Man, I hope we get a few. I usually do get a, you know, Cody at this map, not a problem. But like I said, here in Logless Point is where the Coyote live. And both have a good supply of uh, dogs on them. Just a matter of finding them. <laughs> But they do travel through, that's what I like about them. They do have a, a nice range, the coyote, and they'll sort of walk a fair bit. So if they're not in your area yet, they will eventually get there. Okay, try and uh, blacktail as well. I like the blacktail, and I want to get more of them. Like, I've got a fair few of them, but you know, I want my numbers up higher. Oh, let's not forget about our turkey friend. Where is he? Let's check the hunter, mate. Oh, is he in front of us? Oh, he's coming down that hill. All right, so we'll call him, and uh, hopefully he just walks straight down that hill towards the decoys. He's probably still up near the road. But he uh, seems to be attracted to the caller, so that's good. So, yeah, let's see if he comes in nice and quick. Although well, he's still got a fair way to walk for a turkey. Yeah, so this is our... We've had this for ages now. Let's go to egg so you can see it. This is our semi-auto in classic. The 223, it holds 10 bullets. Five ready to shoot, then five back up. So they're just coming out now and call the wild in a 22. So, but these you can use on turkey, coyote, um, foxes, roe deer, you know, all the sort of smaller game you can use this 223 on. It's a nice gun, I like it. And it's pretty good that the uh, call the wild's finally getting something that's like an AR, a semi auto. Pity it's just a 22 though, but uh, yeah, maybe they'll bring out another one later. Alright, let's try Turkey Boy again. Where are you, bud? Yeah. 
is very quiet. I'm not that bad. We have gotten at least the black tail. See, and if you have no luck here, although you probably won't have this stand on your map, but if you are very close to us right here, as you can see there is a, is a tower here. That's a good one. It's in a big paddock in front of you. And you get a lot of turkey and coyote and deer running up. So we'll check that out later. You know, look at all the towers you got here on this island. I didn't put any of these. They're just here. So if you whack in a few tree stands and blinds on this map, it's a pretty well-equipped map. Uh, can we see our turkey yet? Has it crossed the road? Oh, it's not really a road up there, you know what I mean? So like a little trail. Has it crossed it? So even if you're a new player, this map's good. For the black tail and white tail. And every now and again, you know, you'll come across an elk and a turkey and probably a coyote. So, and there's a bobcat also on this map. I've gotten a couple of, or maybe three, four bobcat off this map. Not a lot. I don't overly hunt them and they usually don't come to the jackrabbit caller. Every now and again, though, they will. Unlike the lynx, who seems to ignore it totally. Come on down, turkey. Uh, hopefully it doesn't freak out. They are very sensitive in this game, the turkeys. So if they sense you're there, they just get a little inkling that you're there, they will fly off. So these decoys usually do sort of, you know, catch their eyes and they'll just sort of look at them a bit instead of me. I only need like one decoy really, but I've, I've got three there. Very one of the males would, you know, be okay, but I think three is the max you can put out and it gives you the most attraction to the turkey. Not that it really matters. Uh, you probably hear traffic outside. It is daytime here, so no what I can do about it. Thought I'd have a hunt before I, you know, do my have to go shopping and do a heap of things during the day. Get the ball rolling early. Oh there it is. Alright, let's how big are you? Oh you only look small. Are you a male? There's a female. There's the male. So what, we might have to shoot him? And I'm a bit worried she'll... Um, maybe run or something and scare him. So to do that, we might put the, the scope back on. Oh, she's hanging around there. We could be good. I just, oh no. I just get worried. The turkey, I've lost a fair few because of females. Uh, we'll go pick him up. There goes the female. So you can see this gun isn't very loud. Although if there was a coyote or deer coming in, probably just scared him off. But let's see what he's worth. Hopefully, probably he's not going to be the one that's uh, going to be over a hundred. But I didn't really grab his score. They do look good. Feathers look good. Look at that. They're a nice model. Uh, let's pick him up. Left lung and heart, nice shot, 9.2. We're going to get 75. So this is an average one, 9.2, and we're getting 75. Nice. That'll pay for your packet of bullets. So there we go, we've got a turkey and a black tar. Although, we're after Cody. Told you this would happen. <laughs> you own a Cody hunt, you get everything else. 
Alright, back in. Back the crouch. I'm going to pull the scope back off that gun. We'll reload it. Nice little reload action on this thing. Oh, there we go. It's still got nine boards in it. So, nice gun. That's what I think in Call of the Wild, they shouldn't just have five in the gun. Should lay to carry ten. Changes, you know, saves all this, you know, use five and then have to reload. But, yeah, no, well, not my problem. Come on, Coyote. But yeah, if I don't get any here soon, we'll all move, move around a bit. But, you know, I'm just hoping. Because usually they do. I get them through here and they'll run up. They'll come through. You know, I've had them just walking across down here and calling them in. You just never know if Coyote. They could be anywhere. Although here it can be a bit, um, to get a few coming in, it's hard to uh, get all their weights before they get right on top of you. But sometimes you don't actually shoot the biggest one, or you might by eye think that's the biggest one. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's hunting. Uh, I'll call everything else too while we're here. Might as well. Oh, that's loud, the out caller, isn't it? <coughs> All right, let's see what happens. I was going to give me one minute. I'm just going to go fill my drink up. I'll be right back. Headphones on, what is happening? Where is the coyote, mate? Sometimes with the coyote, I'd rather be in a, a stand or a tree stand, just so I can see him coming in. Um, you can't call them like sit along the road, and if you hear them call them in there, then you'll catch them on the road. But when they're walking through the bush and you're at that level, they can be a lot harder to see.
So yeah, they can be a bit sneaky to hunt if you're on the same level as them down on the ground. Yeah, you know, unless you've got a really clear view in front of you. But then they'll see you probably, unless you're behind a tree or something. Like I said, a lot of times they won't do a howl when they hear that jackrabbit call, they'll just walk in. And they walk in very quietly and very quick sometimes. And you don't hear them until they're like just over there. You go, oh, here it comes. <laughs> I like the atmosphere on this map. I like it on all the maps. So they're very good the way they capture the sounds in this game. So they come towards me, it should be right. I don't know, the leaves seem to be blowing pretty much straight down in a bit, in a way. Maybe a little bit towards me. Ah, but patience is a virtue in this game. Like I said, if we have no luck here, we're going to move to the other tower and check that out. We could move between them and around that area. I do have another setup on the other side that I do, like, uh, where was it? Here, is it? Be there. I don't think it's to that one. It's not a blind there, is it? It is. Maybe there's one there too. Like, I do have a few setups around that I've gotten coyotes at. Because they're so free roaming, they can be anywhere. So we'll try here first. Oh, another male turkey. We'll call him in, because once again, they're worth a few bucks. Anna Rogers, how you going? Hope you're having a good day, mate. I'm still in classic, still hunting. <laughs> Today is Coyote Day, hopefully. There is a big competition called Coyote Ugly. Plenty of people in it. There are 10 prizes, 10... Uh, I think the first prize is like a thousand EM. Oh, it's EM actually. EM, not GM. A thousand EM, I think, is the first prize. And then after that, I think it's a hundred EM up to the tenth spot and trophies. So, so if you like hunting coyote, this weekend, big competition for coyotes. There's a lot of people and there's some good prizes going. And you got to finish in the top 10 to claim one of those, you know, to get the EM and a trophy. Usually it's top three, so the bigger competitions, they always go down to 10. Instead of a, you know, first, second and third, they have first to 10th. Which is pretty cool. I like they do that in a big competition. We have a male turkey, still pretty far away. We've already gotten one male turkey. Where was he? he? was over here somewhere coming in, so... Hopefully he keeps walking in and we'll get him. I feel hungry. I usually don't get hungry in the morning. Why am I hungry this morning? What is going on? <laughs> I usually don't eat till the afternoon. Now I'm feeling hungry. Come on, man. They've already had me coffee for <laughs> breakfast. That's what I had for breakfast. We'll try blacktail as well. Alright, so it's just a matter of waiting. Like I said, if we get... Oh, see the wind's changed now? Blowing towards where the turkey is. So that's a... Uh, man, come on, white heart. Yeah, if we get nothing here, you know, if this doesn't pick up here soon, we will move across to the Tower of Power. Oh, that's alright. If it comes in that way, it'll be good, actually. The wind won't be blowing at it, I'm hoping. Oh, 
If you are a new player and you got the two, four, three, and the shotgun, you'll be able to shoot the coyote. I'm pretty sure, and all the deer with the two, four, three, and the elk you can shoot with the shotgun and the slug, and of course the turkey you can shoot with the shotgun and bird shot. They can pretty much shoot every animal here with the new, with the free guns. So if you are a new player, White Heart, you know, a lot of people go loggers when they start, but White Heart is also a really uh, new player friendly sort of map. Oh, he's getting closer. They could be two of them. We will see. Can't see him yet, but they are small. Some of they're stuck behind a tree, you won't see it. <laughs> I think it's still not across the little track up there. I have another call, eh? Try and make him rush in. See, he's very close. He might be just up there somewhere. Maybe he hasn't walked across that little track yet. And once again, I'll try and get him with a bow and arrow, but if he seems like he's going to get sus on me, he might use the gun. I like the 223 in Turkey. It's a lot quieter than the shotgun. Doesn't uh, spook the area as much. And if you do have a bird dog, this is the only bird your dog can't pick up in Classic is a turkey. They're too big. They can pick up turkey, ducks, pheasant, rabbits. They can't do the turkey. So if you've got a Labrador Retriever and you go, go fetch that turkey and it looks at you stupid, don't blame the dog. <laughs> it's the game. I won't let it do it. Beautiful day in Melbourne today. It's going to be 26, not too hot. Really nice and sunny outside at the moment. This is coming in a bit sideways here, which sometimes they tend to do. And you can see, looking up there is really hard to see. <laughs> I'm oh, just going to have to wait. I'll give him another call. Yeah, so if you have a PC, it's, this game is worth playing. If you don't have a PC, it's not on a console. But all you, yeah, I think there's two turkeys coming in. But if you are... Uh, your PC, you know, it doesn't have to have good specs to play this game. It can be a potato, and it will play it. And like I said, it's free. Free game. Just a bit more grindy for a new player. You know, to get the money built up. Did I just hear a dog pant? I wonder what I just heard. Because I don't have my dog with me. I sound like I heard a dog pant. Let's concentrate on the turkey. Where are you, buddy? Come on down. I think we might have two coming in. Oh, there it is. Are you big? Uh, yeah, average. Oh, yeah, it is two. Look, two males, man. Three. Three freaking males, I think. That is unbelievable. Let's try and... <laughs> Uh, I wish they wouldn't all come in a little pack like that because we're not going to be able to shoot them all. Now, if the wind stays the way it is, keep blowing towards me, wind. Do not change direction. Alright, so there's one. There's two. I'm pretty sure there is the other one. 
how big are you? They're all males. 35 to 60, so you're, you're maybe the biggest one I've seen so far. What are you? You're... Oh, we might have four. There's another one. Oh, my God. It's turkey day. I told you this would happen. I'm hunting coyote, and I'll get everything else. Eh? I'll get every... Oh, there's one right there. We've got every other animal <laughs> coming in, and now we've got a whole squad of turkey coming in. Damn you, turkey. Now, I like them, actually. They're pretty cool. Turkey, give them another call here. Now, if we like... Oh, no, they're all going to... Once I shoot one, the rest are going to take off. Most likely. We're going to try this guy for bar and arrow. He's walking straight to the decoys. And just pull up there, little buddy. There you go. Get to the decoy and say hello to it. There you go. All right, the other one's walking in. All right, let's not panic. Even though this isn't as quiet as the Parker Python, it's still not too bad. All right, you're gonna you're gonna stop. All right, are the other ones still coming in? Let's give a call. We've got two of them, which is good. Yeah, third one's coming. That's excellent. Shotgun time it is. I didn't bring it though, mate. No shotgun today. I did have two on me when I started and I took them out of my inventory and uh, changed it round. Come on down and stop, buddy. There he is. Oh, look. They're both here. Which one's the biggest? Because, um... 25 to 50. You seem a bit small. Oh, no, hang on. Let's see. They're both going to run here. Uh, looks like we've got them all, baby. Let's get down. Uh, that's where that gun comes in handy. Semi-auto. Oh, four turkeys. Cool. All right, this one's a 9.2. Should be bigger than our last one. No, less. 40. Okay. So that's a cheap-ass one. What about you? 9.3. It's going to be about the same. Uh, it's... Wow, 131. Okay. So there you go. I told you you can get them over 68, the score you can get. Over 100 gm, we got 131 for that. CS of 130. Nice, man. That puts me number two in the turkey competition there. Let's wait till that goes away before we pick up the next one. You're 8.9. And you're going to give me 66. Well, the first one seemed like a bit of a ripoff. Uh, we got this one here that was running off, but we shot it with the 223. And you're a 9.1. And you're going to give me 74, score of 46. So there you go. I didn't buy any. Didn't need to buy any uh, ammunition today. I had a whole bunch from my last hunt. So all this today is profit. Although I did spend uh, 30,000 GM last week. I've built that back up to 20,000 GM. I had 11, I think. Now I'm back to 20. So today will help greatly <laughs> with uh, with bringing that money back up. Now let's reload this. There you go. This is how we need to do in a call a while. Put 10 bullets in the thing. It's a nice looking gun. You can get it in a camo color as well. I actually prefer the black. And uh, yeah, very nice gun. You can see even the writing on it there. They've done good detail on these guns in classic. And I actually prefer them to the Call of Wild guns. I think they handle, shoot better, feel more real. You can feel the weight in the different guns. Once again, we're on a coyote hunt. And uh, it's turned into a turkey hunt. 
<laughs> if I'd have put I'm having a turkey hunt, I would have had five coyotes by now. Like, that's <laughs> what this game does to me a lot. Like, okay, we'll go and have a blacktail hunt. And I get elk. It's like, no, blacktail, come on. I don't mind. But, you know, the way it's gone, I'm not going to get a coyote. I'm going to get 50,000 turkeys. That was nice to have four males walk in at once because usually the females, you know, they get there first and if they spook, then the males bloody take off and you've wasted that five minutes, ten minutes calling them in. And the female turkeys are worth zero, so they're not worth shooting. Come on, Cody, we've got five turkeys, man, and a black tail. No, uh, I thought we had, because, like, the hunter mate kept changing then, like, that turkey call, and, and say, so over there, and I, I thought, hey, we've got more than one coming in. But we had two, we had four. And once again, we will not forget black tarp. We'll keep calling them as well. I'm glad the wind was blowing towards me then. Uh, we must have wiped out most of the turkey in this little area by now. All the males, anyway. <laughs> I like that one, 131 GM. Man, that is nice. For a bird. So I haven't even heard a coyote howl yet. Usually you hear them in the distance on this map. And once you do that, if you're called, they usually will come 100%. shotgun time I used to do a lot of shotgun hunting here heard that the weapon pack will include three new guns the camo look to be honest you like the camo look it's okay I just you know I'm more conservative so I went black <laughs> so yeah uh, I saw the the call a while parts of the stream I haven't watched it all with the new gun um, but it is only the 22 they they're making semi-automatic, right? They're not bringing out, like, a 3006 that can do it or anything like that, are they? It's just a 22 semi-auto. It's good they're doing it. And I've got to say, Classic done it ages ago, and uh, they've done it really well. They need to hold 10 bullets, not <laughs> five. Five is not enough. Because you don't want to be, you know, reloading every time. And just, you know, just saves it better. 10 bullets. Well, we'll see when they bring out the new weapon pack, and I think they're going to drop a, a patch to fix a lot of the problems at the same time. We'll see if they fix my Call of Wild game this time. <laughs> or will it still be broken? When does that come? Next month or later this month? When are they dropping this weapon pack? I didn't, uh, I didn't hang around long enough to get the date of when uh, they're doing this. Or they haven't told us yet. Man, where are the coyotes today? Come on, we're on a coyote hunt. I'm still preferring this game, really, at the moment, over Call of the Wild. I just tend to 
I don't know, I'm in tune with this game a bit more lately. I don't think there's going to be many turkey left around here. Give him a call. And the black tart. A uh, female turkey that we don't want. Man, they had a loud heart day. Look how far away she is on the hunter, mate. Like 150 metres or so away. A couple of hundred metres. And here, like, she's just over there. Thing you see, even when you shoot this gun... Like the animals settle down really quick because it's not stirring up a big area like a shotgun would. The shotgun echoes through here. This is just like a dull thud compared to that. <laughs> you can also shoot the um, Cody with a bullpup. So you can use a Fairly, you know, decent sized gun on a coyote. But are they are they on the map today, guys? What's going on? We need them to be here. We need at least to get a coyote. Come on, go away, female. Oh, cool, though. She might drag a male in with her. Yeah, they're really scrawny. Two months. Uh, the game already has a semi-22. Two months max. So, wow. Okay. That's a fair while, man. Yeah, you know, if your game's got a problem. <laughs> I would have been waiting there a couple of months for it to be fixed, so... Yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's great. Sounds like the predator's out there today. That's what that sound always reminds me of. There is one game I play. I haven't come across it yet. Um, Tom Clancy's Wildlands, and it has the predator in it on a certain part of the map. And it tries to kill you, so you have to hunt it. And I think when you kill it, you get certain powers out of it or something. I haven't done it yet, so... Yeah, she's coming on in. She's right there somewhere. I don't want it. You can see why I put my turkey set up here, can't you? Like, it's just... Some days it's turkey after turkey after turkey here. I can't see her. She's out there somewhere. I really gotta. I'm gonna try and soon save up because <laughs> I keep buying equipment for this game. You know, stands and you know anything I need like that. So I might eventually soon buy new binoculars that zoom in and out. These don't do that. These are the first ones I ever got in the game and I've kept them <laughs> I just say you storm and I can always use a gun scope if I want to zoom in and out so I never know what range an animal's at when it's like super far away but because I've used my the guns that I own I've used them a lot like I know if they've got a bit of bullet drop I know sort of where to aim higher if, if I need be I don't really need to know the range of the animal. But I do need a coyote. 
I need a female flapping her wings now. She is super close. Where are you? Oh, there you are. There you go, look at that, it's a female. You can see, score zero. Oh, she's off. She's going, I've had enough, mate. You're calling coyotes in. Oh, I gotta go. She turned around and headed out, mate. All right, see you later. All right, so we haven't heard a coyote here. So what we're going to do, we're going to head now to this tower and give it a, a little shot there. All right, we don't have to walk far to get there. Here's her track. So that was weird. She walked in and uh, walked away again. Oh, there she goes. She took off. They can fly pretty good in this game, turkeys, actually. Uh, she just flew it over that way. All right, let's just uh, walk straight, head for this uh, tower. Yeah, look, now she's calling again. Oh, that's a different female. Then. Man, look at all the turkey tracks in here. Another one. No elk yet either. Not that I'm not really after them today, but they are nice if you get a, a nice big one. But yeah, man, coyote. So I'm not going to call any of them until we get to the tower now. So I mean, if you're walking down here and you call in a coyote, and you sort of have to go to crouch, and you can only, you know, you can't really see it, you hear it coming in, they can be a bugger. That's why I like to usually be above them, or on a road, so I can see it. Once it hits the road, I can see it really clear. But I usually always get coyote when I come here. So instead of heading the loggers point, I thought I'd come here. I don't go to loggers point that much. It's a nice map. It's just it's not my favourite. <laughs> Apparently soon they were talking. Um, I don't think they gave a date either. We're going to get um, fellow deer in this game. So I imagine they'll be on Hirschfelden, I'd imagine. That's where we have him in uh, Call of the Wild. So that'd be pretty cool, fellow deer. Anything new they bring to this game, I really like. Just, you know, expands it more, something else to hunt. You're talking about the weapon pack for the fixes. You have to wait a little bit longer. Oh my god, you gotta wait longer for the fixes. So I'll be playing this game for a couple of months by the looks of it, because uh, I call the wild game's broken. So uh, yeah, great. I thought it's <laughs> just the, what can you do about it? Nothing, right? But I've been noticing lately, like I watch some other people's videos on uh, Call of the Wild every now and again. And lately when they're shooting whitetail at Mexico, like they'll shoot one. And say there's a pack of, I don't know, five whitetail. And they shoot that one buck, the big buck that they wanted. The rest of the deer just stand there. They're not running off. And I don't like that in the game. I don't want the deer to stand there after I just shot their friend right in front of them. They should run away. You know, unless you're using a bow and arrow and you're being sneaky, fair enough. Get it. 
using a gun, it goes boom. And they see oh, there's something just around a coyote. A oh, coyote, mate. All right, we, we'll call him back. We're near the tower. Oh, there's one there. Look, too. See what I mean? When you change area a little bit, there's a coyote sneaking in through that. So we're just going to go crouch now. We've got him around us. This is what we're after, coyote. We just saw one run off. We've got one in the paddock. I don't want to call them just yet because they will turn sometimes really quick and start walking towards the call and I'm not in the tower yet. Yeah, but I've noticed in Call of the Wild a lot of times when people are shooting deer and there's a pack of them there that um, the other ones aren't running off. It just looks so pathetic. Like you've got to fix that. That shouldn't be part of the game. <laughs> just my view, anyway. Just, it just looks horrible when I see it. But I suppose it's good if a new player can shoot them all and get a, you know, a few thousand bucks out of it. All right, so here's our tower. It's a nice big one. Beautiful size towers on this uh, map. Now you can see, like, if you're lying down here straight... You won't see the coyote till he's right on top of you. That's why you need a bit of height on some of these animals. So it looks like they weren't back there. They're hanging around here at the moment. So can we get them back in? They shouldn't be too far away. So we had one run off that way. That won't come back too quick. But we did have one call out here. Did, I, did it stay on the hunter, mate? It was out this way. So we're going to call a few times. And hopefully we can score the first one of the day. Because it is a coyote hunt, remember? <laughs> we haven't got one yet. We have seen one. I saw one run off, then we saw one in the paddock here. But, uh, and it walked out this way. Now, they, the dog would have heard that, you know, dogs hear really good, so would have heard the call. But will it come back? That is the thing. As you can see, look, look, this tower I was telling you, the big paddock in front of it. Good for blacktail here too. Turkey, you get, you know, if you put some, uh, you don't really need to, but if you put a decoy out there, just one of those male decoys, and start calling turkeys, you'll probably get it. Look, is that a turkey over there? No, it's Cody. What are you, male or female? Be a male, please. Big male. That's what I'm looking for, buddy. Oh, come on, spot. Wants to. There we go. It is a male. Oh, I don't know whether to go gun or bow because these things sometimes won't stop moving. I might just pop the scope back on this for a tick. I'll pick him up. So our first coyote of the day, he did come back. Now you can see how fast they move in. Like you can get them to bow and arrow, but sometimes they won't stop moving. They're coming exactly to that call and they'll actually walk under the tower. So then they'll hear and they'll nick off and you won't get it. So hence I went the gun. Apparently it's a male. Now this will... Give us uh, where we're standing in this competition, just from the one dingo, I, uh, dingo, one coyote. And uh, I'm in another competition where it's your top three. So that'll count for, this will count for that, but it, we won't get a an idea of where we are. We hit the brain, 100% integrity, and it's a, what is it, a score of 47. So it's only not a very big one. They go up to like 55, 57 or something. So we're going to get 60. It's still good payout. Look at that. And that'll put us... That's counted for the free coyotes. There we go. Competition for Coyote 3. Now for Coyote Ugly, please come up after this one. And that puts me in 118th position in Coyote Ugly. That's what I mean. If you 
enter this code how ugly there's a lot of people in it and if you do well in it there's 10 prizes if you do well in it you know you've done really well we're 118 so I imagine there's probably close to 200 people in this competition we're sitting below midway so we need a we need a coyote that weighs at least 53 54 you know around that to get you know in anywhere in the top probably 50 in this competition like i said guns are nice and quiet coyotes a couple hundred meters away maybe not have heard that and i do wander in and out of areas really fast so See, like I said, that coyote didn't make a sound. They just walk in. So if you are at ground level with a coyote, uh, I know you could, it looks like you can see through that grass now. Once you're down on the ground level, you can't. Uh, what did Red say? Haven't seen any Call of the Wild content for a very long time. You just find out now that there's a new level of animal. Fabled. Yeah, they've got... Um, I bought in a great one, Red Deer. Which is fine. The only problem I have with the great one, Red Deer, is it has leaves in its antlers. It looks like half plant, half deer. Now, I'm um, pretty sure I saw that in a, um, something like that in a Netflix show called Extinction, I think it was, where a bunch of women went into this parallel world and there was like a red deer in there that like had trees coming out of its head, it had leaves and that on it. They look like that. Similar. <laughs> like I like the idea, I don't, I don't know why the leaves are on their head though. To me it just, it breaks the immersion because I know it's not true. Am I playing Guild Wars 2 with some sort of weird looking animal or am I playing Call of the Wild? What's going on? Like, I like the idea of great ones. I don't want to see leaves in their antlers. It just seems a bit... I don't know. It just doesn't seem real to me. And all of a sudden, I'm in fantasy camp or something. <laughs> what is going on? It's not real. It's not a real animal. Although we do, in this game at Easter, we have a, a rabbit crossed with a, a roe deer. It's called a robot. And it's a, it's a rabbit. It still has its rabbit ears, but it also has roadie antlers on its head. But it's once a year. It's just a... And we have once a year, we have werewolves in this game. You know, they're not real animals. But when you put it permanently in a game, like them red deer, that's a bit different. You know, a special weekend or a special week of a certain animal that may not be real, get it. Putting it in the game permanently... Don't understand it. But, you know, I don't know. I don't care. I've probably even, I've never even gotten a diamond red deer, mate. And I have hunted the crap out of them. Then I watch other people and they get four diamond red deers in one hunt. It's like, okay. I give up. <laughs> I've had enough of this game. So yeah, I don't, I don't understand how that works. I don't really want to boggle my mind with it. What I do want is more coyote. We'll call blacktail while we're here too. They are they are around. No, there's a turkey. We can call them. Oh, annihilation! There you go. Red knows what I'm talking about. And a bunch of women, they go through this, like, bubble thing. I don't know what it is, like a wall. And inside there is a different parallel-type universe. Or well, something going on in there, anyway. And, uh, yeah. There's this, like, red deer, or a deer. I don't know if it's a red deer. It's some sort of deer. And it has, like, a trees on its head, not antlers. Like antlers, but trees. And that's similar to what we've got here, in, uh, not here, in uh, Call of the Wild with the red deer. So when I first saw it, I thought it was a mistake. I thought, ah, oh, you know, it's probably, it's a, they need to patch it and get rid of the leaves on the antlers. And then I found out, no, 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 that's that's how it is. I'm like, oh, it's not a mistake. <laughs> it's, uh, it's what they're doing nowadays. 
So yeah, you know, for a game that only wants to give you five bullets and a gun like this to keep it real, they're really keeping it real with that deer, aren't they? Doesn't make sense. But I suppose, you know, why not? It's sort of a more arcadey game than this anyway, so... Yeah, who cares? And like I said, I'll never see one in that game. My maps are horrible. You ha hardly have any diamonds on it. The most diamonds I got are with, you know, Cape Buffalo and Water Buffalo because I really hunt them a lot. But, yeah, no red deer on my maps. Or well, no big ones. Uh, we did find one coyote oak. We did have one run off. So we know there's more around. But the little buggers, sometimes they come up through this way. And then you just hear that noise. And they run off. You don't know that it's coming in. Because they don't make a sound. Unfortunately. Every now and again. So we're 118th. <laughs> we're doing well man we're 118th and smell that trophy now <laughs> and then EMs eh? I'd be nice to do alright in a big competition where you know there's a couple hundred people in I think it's just one of those things because sometimes like I showed a video the other week when I I'm, I've I come third in a bison competition. At the end of the thing, when I showed it, it said there was only 13 players. When I joined, when I joined that competition, there was 43 players, and I joined that competition early. But as the competition goes, and people have their last hunt, and they can't get anywhere near the top, they just leave the competition. So then by the time, you know, on the last day, in the last few hours of the comp, a lot of people are left. So when you started and there was 43, and then that would have expanded out to probably 60-something. And by the time you win your trophy, it just says, oh, there was only 13 players. No, that's not right. <laughs> that's the only ones who hung around at the end trying to, you know, buy for the top three prizes. So yeah, every now and again, it looks like you're, you know, they only played against 13 people, but you know when you join, there was 43, and then I joined on the first, you know, day of that competition, so that would have expanded out to maybe 60 people. But as we can see in this one, I'm 118, so we know that, you know, I'd only be like middle pack. So there's got to be a couple hundred people in this competition, but by the end, at the last day in the last few hours, you watch, there, there might be 200 people in it because a lot of people would have already left. This is one thing I, I don't really do in Call of Wild. I don't tower hunt in that game. Uh, you know, I usually just walk around. But in this game, it seems it, it does pay off sitting in these towers or a tree stand that does pay off walking around as well but uh as long as you can call an area in and oh and we get a female turkey that we don't want but i've come here before and i've seen you know 10 turkeys out in that paddock so you just never know what you're going to find when you come here Yeah, if this didn't have a tower in it, I would have put one of my own <laughs> in this paddock. Like I said, this this map has good coverage. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, it looks like, towers on this map. And they're all there permanently. You didn't have to put any on there. They're, they are just there. So plenty of places to hunt on this map if you're a new player. But yeah, I suppose if a new player, they're up against not having all the callers. So that that, that is a pain. 
There's a call. I haven't called an elk in a while. I haven't heard any either. Apart from, I think, one female earlier, which we don't want them either, because they're worth no money. Oh, we need another couple of coyote, don't we? Like we're only 118th, mate. It's not enough. <laughs> it's embarrassing. No, it's not embarrassing. It's, who cares? So I go in the competitions, like, apart from, you know, every now and again I really try for one, like that bison one, 100 all weekend. I killed over 100 bison. I kept going out, and uh, I was coming second, then I was third. Then I got a bigger bison and my third got higher, so I was still third place, but yeah, in a, in a better position. And there was, I don't know, like an hour and a half to go and I logged out and just went to my niece. Well, now we just sit back and go back at six o'clock and see what happens. And I actually stayed third, which is pretty cool. So if you chase it, if you really go for it, sometimes you get it. Like I've done it once with, uh, I used to, when, when I first, you know, Years ago, I went after the mule deer for shotgun. I'd always go to uh, Timber Gold Trails for my mule deer. I seem to get more there than at Loggers Point. And I won that thing twice. I won it one week, and I think a week or two later, I won it again. But I was out there with my shotgun hunting mule deer all freaking day to get the first prize. And then I, the next day, I went back out, and I kept hunting. You know until virtually the competition ended and that's once again that's luck uh, i was here once and we're having a hunt and i joined the master of the blacktail competition and it was like the last animal of the hunt i'd been out here for five hours i hear a blacktail so i go to crouch pull out my bow i see it i go that looks like not a bad blacktail i shot it with the bow it died straight away went and picked it up and i was first in uh Master of the Blacktail, and I stayed there. Like, I, I got first prize. So, sometimes it's just luck, man. Other times, you chase hard, and you don't get it, and then sometimes you do get it, so. I don't want this turkey. Go away. Give me coyote, man. As soon as you see me in packs, I'm all, I, put, I think I put it on a video here once, and they were at the back there and crossing that road, there was like seven coyote all in this little pack. It was awesome to look, look at and watch. But yeah. So there's no great ones in this game, but there are great animals in this game. You know, like if you get a really, like the, you know, you come across the biggest white tail you've ever come across, yeah, it's going to be big in this game. They're big. Yeah, they, you know, it's harder to get a really huge animal in this game, but when you do get one, like a red deer or an elk or, you know, white tail, mule deer, you get a huge mule deer, you can tell it's big as soon as you see it. You go, man, check this thing out. And you know you want it. You get calling it in. You're very careful. You're worried about females coming in and spooking stuff. And, and then when you see a non-typical white tail, black tail, or a uh, mule deer, you really know, you know that you want this animal because they're very. Uh, I think I've only got one non-typical black tail. I think I got like five mule deer non-typicals, and maybe three white tail. So, you know, they're not, you don't get them every hunt. They're really hard. And when you, when you see one, you know you really want it. Because if it runs off, oh, bad luck, man. I haven't seen a pie bowl in this game in ages, man. They're here. <laughs> I just haven't, I haven't seen one. In, oh, there we go. We've got us a black tar. Or is it a white tar? It is a black tar. And he's way over there. We're going to give him a call to keep him interested. I might be able to smack him out with a bow and arrow. That's if it comes in. I'm going to try and find him. Uh, 
if you stand behind that bush and stuff, we're not going to see it till it walks out. But um, let's look at the hunter mate again. Uh, it's telling me pretty much dead in front of me now. Let's have a look. Uh, there's a ridge there. See how the land is up, so it's a bit down on the other side. So we're just going to have to wait till he walks out before we see him. Hopefully he does walk out. I say I'm in a black tail comp. You got a uh, man in black, I think it's called. You got to shoot him with bow and arrow, not a um, gun. Black tail come in very slow. So do white tail. They rarely rush in. Uh, so careful. Uh, we can't see it at all. Maybe you can see it there. <laughs> I'm blind, I can't see it, but yeah, I can't see it yet. Before it comes, I'm just going to quickly run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Ah, so slow. Yeah, compared to a coyote that runs in at you. Ah, uh, he's black tar. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's way over there. I don't know if you can see his white face and his head moving. I cannot zoom in with these things, but we'll give him a call if I pull out the right bloody caller. Fabled animals, great ones. Right, now I can't see him. I oh, know he's there. Oh, and come in, females. We do not want you. Gotta check behind you, too. They come and they'll come on the side. If they don't, you know, call. You might not know they're there till they're right on top of you. All right, so there he is. Here he comes. Hey, he's not too bad. The black tails, you know, compared to a mule deer and a white tail, their antlers aren't as big. Yeah, you know, they're more like a Sitka deer in a way, the size of the antlers. Hey, Barry, how you going, mate? Good to see you. I'd be going well up there in Queensland. So this one looks not bad. Probably better than our first one, I'd say. So I'll give him, we'll keep him walking towards us. We'll use the bow and arrow on him and keep it nice and quiet. 
when you do that, there could be another black tail we can't see off on the right or off on the left there that, you know, may show up. I think I'm hearing footsteps. I don't know, I'm not, mustn't be. Oh, that's the way, Barry. Yeah, I thought I'd have a bit of a daytime stream today. Because lately I've been doing them at like midnight. <laughs> Trying to catch everyone I can during the week. No, that's not too bad. Now, since I'm in this competition, it should give me a... a go away, female. It should give me a, an idea of... Oh, we, what is that? Oh, that's female. Do have a female closer? I can hear footsteps down here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's behind that tree. Go away. Is this where it can all go pear shaped? So I'm going to be very quiet up here. He's doing a good. He's doing a good job. He's coming in pretty quick for a black tail, actually. I, he's constantly walking, which I like. Hey, look at those. They're not too bad. Saying a score between 70 and 150. So you're going to, you know, bring that down to about 100, maybe 120. Alright, once I shoot, the female should run off. Alright, you can stop now, boy. You're not going to stop, is he? He is. Alright, right through the middle of the head there. Ah, uh -huh, beautiful. So, we'll go pick him up. Just make sure around us. I thought I saw something at the back there. Oh no, we're good. So, once I get down, the females will nick off. There she is there. But it can be, they can uh, bring you well, well undone. If she spooked and he saw it, he would have ran. And then it's, you know, it's either pull out the gun and shoot him. So we'll see. We're in the competition black tail with a bow and arrow. Alright, it's not the biggest one I've ever seen, but it's, mm, you know, not too bad. Skull, brain, we've still got the 100%. We didn't hit the antlers. That's what we've got to make sure. We don't hit the antlers. It is a 115, which I thought it might be, because it said, you know, up to 150, you always knock that back. And we're going to get 65. Where's it put us in this comp? It puts us 38, man, in black, man. There's a lot of people. We get on the weekends, a lot of people in competitions. I like that. The more, the merrier. That's what I say. So you can see it's just an average one. We're 36th. All right, let's get back in our oh, little box. So I pressed the right freaking thing. All right, now if there was any other males coming in, we wouldn't have scared them. That's if there were any other <laughs> males coming in. We did have females coming in. We don't want them. New weapons pack coming to call the wild, Barry. I don't know if you've heard. It'll be exciting for some people because you do get a gun like this, but a 22 semi auto. So, about time they probably bought one into that game. Alright, so I've got two black tails now five turkeys and one coyote. And we're on a coyote hunt. <laughs> I've only got one of them. But I'm not, you know, it's the way it goes. Ah, oh, 
my cut, we'll call it again. Now, I probably could have bought my spinner thing, that are like electronic spinner. So I think it does, it tracks all the cats, the wolf, and the coyote. But see, when you call, and if they look at it, then they walk straight to it, and they'll just, so if we put it down there near them rocks, in the middle of them rocks, it'll just stand there looking at it. So it gives you a nice, uh, usually anyway, it'll give you a nice straight shot at the animal. So, you know, might not be, it'll stop instead of keep walking, hopefully. I reckon that black tail would have walked right up to here and see once you get you know right under us there see we can hit to about maybe there but once they get oh no we can hit right there some towers you sort of get stuck on the edge and you can't get um right under them Mm, female turkeys. We'll call turkey. We'll call them all down. We'll call elk. Man, that is loud. It's good to see uh, new players come in the game. A friend was asking me the other day about the hunter, mate. I go, well, mate, this is your... This is your tool in this game, this thing. You really... <laughs> The hunter mate is your mate in this game. You use it for tracking. When you hear a call, you click it, and it'll tell you exactly, you know, the animal's over to the left or to the right. And then the more you level up with that animal, the more accurate your hunter mate will get and showing you where the animal is. You know, level up in spotting and tracking and, you know, all that. I can see all the animals on this map. I can tell what score they are and stuff. So I've been, you know, I've hunted a lot of them. The black tail, white tail, the coyote, the elk, the turkey. But when you're a new player, you won't get that. Or if you're like some of the animals, um, say ibex, I might not get a score coming up because I haven't overly hunted them. I got a nice one the other day. It was a, it was pretty huge, man. 260 or something score something like that it was pretty big put it in the lodge just for something to do because i hardly hunt ibex i think jaxie's been hunting them lately on the whether he does it thursday in australia it's thursday night or whatever and you watch his stream from this week he walked up there without getting a tent to where the ibex are. You gotta go far left on that map and up and you'll be able to you won't need ropes. You don't need ropes to get up there. You know, on that part and you'll be able to get the ibex. So if you are a new player, you can get to the ibex without the ropes and stuff. So if you have a look at his uh the start of his video, this one he walks up there or runs up there. So um yeah, you don't need ropes to get up there. Even who cares, years ago I made a video about it on how to get up there without having ropes and stuff. And you'd probably be able to shoot a uh, Ibex with a 243, I'd imagine. You'd have to check it out before you went, but I'm pretty sure you might be able to. Come on, Cody, where are you today, mate? I need a couple more. To make it actually cool. This is more of a turkey hunt today. But you've got to take every animal that comes in. If it's worth money, you've got to, you've got to take it, right? We had one turkey worth 131 GM already today. Very nice. You had a few of them in a hunt. Make all your... Oh, I didn't buy any bullets today, but, you know, gives you plenty of bullet money. It helps you save up for that next gun 
or piece of equipment that you're after. Uh, if we get nothing here soon, we will move. I don't know where we're going to move to. Oh, we might go to here or here. I'm just hoping, you know, we get a little uh, pack of coyote moving through while we're here. Another black tail would be nice. I've never really done that well on this uh, Men in Black competition. And I've entered it uh, a fair few times. <laughs> So, yeah. You see what I mean? White Heart can get really quiet at times. It's one of those maps where, you know, sometimes you get animal after animal and there's a freaking female blacktail coming in. Um, or could, that could even be a white tail. Parts of this map can be pretty slow, and then other days you just, you know, you get a fair few at one spot. Oh, well, like before, we got like the four turkey walked in and, you know, managed to kill them all. <laughs> Red said shotgun time. Shotgun would have been the perfect weapon, but uh, we don't know, okay, if that. What is this? Another female? Yep, man. So they're probably the ones we scared off earlier. And they only run so far, and then they just come back. And we've got her back down there. And we'd prefer males to be walking in. She even looks like she could be a white tail back down there. And it's still hard to tell, it's still very far away. And that is one loud uh, female turkey, man. Put her on the roaster and cook her up. Yeah, I don't need a whole bunch of females coming in. Female, I'll take a female coyote. They, they, you get a score out of them and you'll get GM. Feels weird not having my dog today. The first hunt, I haven't had a dog with me for ages, but I thought I will leave it, I'll leave it in the tent today. Uh, I can hear her now walking in. Can you hear her feet? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one up there, that's a white tail. Female. Maybe if they paid 6 GM, then I'd probably shoot it, but, you know, what's the use? We don't want you. Is there a difference in the head? See how that one's got more white on its face? Its neck looks a bit different. Looks a bit longer, the neck on the white tail. Oh, there's a female elk now. It seems to be Ladies' Day down here at White Heart Island. There she is. See how high you up in here? Look how small it looks down there. We're pretty high. Keep calling, dear. We just don't want the females coming in. Got a nice big white tail off this map. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago I made a little video about it and I got that one. Where was it? I, th I th might have been there. I think it was there at this tree stand. I got a few nice white tail here too. 
this tree stand. Anywhere on this part of the island, there more white tail than uh, than black tail. If you're chasing the white white tail deer, I want to get a you know a nice one I can put in my lodge. The one I I got I could have, but I just you know. I think maybe I should wait till I get a bigger one, which could take me all freaking year. I'm gonna buy another lodge soon too for this game. I've only got the one, so I'm gonna buy the other one where it's more wooden and uh, looks more sort of old style type lodge. I'll buy that one next. And I'll buy it with uh, GM, not a uh, EM. <laughs> I don't want to put any more real money into this game. I've done that, you know, before with the for years with the membership, and then buying guns and tents and stands with uh, turning real money into EMs. So I will never do that again. I'll grind. Um, my way to the next thing I need with GMs I'll just go out and hunt and, and if it takes me a month to you know save up for that lodge well that's it, it takes me a month no big deal there she goes she'll hang around because she's looking for who done that noise <laughs> I wonder if that white tail spot now. Let's have a look. Oh, I can hardly see it. See how long the grass is here? I actually like the way the deer's walk in this game. That does look very real. And she stop now. They usually have a look around, a bit of a sniff. They'll shake their head. There she goes, a little shake of her head. Males shake their head a lot. Now they have got the animal movements really good in this game. Like if you watch the kangaroos, if you've been to Australia, they've done them really well. Alright, you can go away, girls. We don't want you. Like, seriously. Ah, now we're going to get a bunch of female elks coming in. They do have a nice sound, the elks. I like that sound. And when you use the wolf call in, in this game, they sound like that. They make that wee sound for the wolves to then will come and attack. I actually got it. I might put it up. Um, I was hunting at the Timbergold Trails uh, earlier this week. And I was sort of looking at this uh, wolf across the river and thinking about shooting it. And then it sort of ran. So I was just in this crouch mode of my dog sitting next to me and the wolf ran right up to me, right? But it was chasing a female elk. So it sort of ran right in front of me and stopped and then kept chasing this elk and I filmed it while I'd done it. It was so weird because it came right next to me and usually a wolf is so sensitive it, it knows you're there even if you're in crouch mode, you're not moving or sort of sense that you're there. Because it was chasing a female elk, I just uh, didn't know I was there, man. I got a really good close-up look of a live wolf, you know, right in front of me. All right, she's run off, which is good. Oh, no, you didn't. You just ran to there. <laughs> right? All right, let's have a look at our white tail now. It's closer. There she is. You can tell the difference. Longer neck, the white on the face. They've even got a bit of a bigger body, the female white tail. Hey, how's girls? How you going, man? Good to see you. I hope you're having a good weekend. Well, it's just starting weekend for us in Australia. Saturday early afternoon now. <laughs> I didn't say Saturday morning, but we're past that. Uh, this female did go to run off, and then it's come back. I really don't know what it's doing. Uh, now you can, I don't know, you can probably hear that. Just the feet under the tower now 
There she is. Ah, she's going to have breakfast. <laughs> Sit there and have lunch or something. Let's keep calling uh, our dingo friends, the coyote. I'm getting plenty in deer, they're just deer we don't want because they're all female. But it's nice just to watch them sometimes. Alright, she's hungry. I don't mean I'm a bit hungry too, so I get it. Uh, she's just content to sit there and eat now. Uh, the female's still just under us. But yeah, I've only got one coyote. We need a couple more. It is a coyote hunt. Hello. That's what you want the mouse to do. Just stop and just stand there. <laughs> Let you shoot them. Alright, she's getting close now. Oh, oh, that's a female elk. She is uh, turned up. Sometimes they're in a group. And they'll have uh, like five of the buggers with them. As you can see, it looks score of zero. So if you shoot her, you get no money. Man, there's too many females. So I was thinking these, in these games, they could cut back the female population, but I don't know. Not a lot, just cut it back by 15% and make that extra 15% male, or even an extra 10% male. Just to, you know... Keep it uh, so we sort of hunt more and make a few more GM. And uh, there's a turkey. That'll be a female, I'd imagine, that we heard. Oh, there's a couple of turkeys. Actually, there's another one behind the, behind the tree. We might call them. There could be a male amongst them. There we go. There's another elk. As, we, as I said, they're usually not alone. The females. Sometimes they are. Oh, so we've got three of them that have appeared. And so that one's more brindly. Oh, no, not three. We've got six. <laughs> there we go. They're running true to form today. As you can see, some have got more sort of tanny on them and some are more like brindly. Yeah, but they'll, uh, they walk around without males. They'll just have a, a group of females. There we go. We've got a whole group of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, cool. We don't want any of them. There's a turkey at the side of them. That's a female turkey. Man, where's the males? This is like a, a nightmare of females. <laughs> Man, listen, you can say there's a lot of animals on these maps, but I don't want any of them. Even the female turkey's worth nothing. There she is, zero. But we've got another one there walking up. It's hard to see. See the head sticking up? I don't know if it's a male or female yet. And there was another one behind it, behind the tree. So we could have three turkeys walking in. If we do, one of them's got to be a male, right? That looks like a female. It's flapping its bloody wings. Damn, look at this. A few calls and look what happens. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Hey, Kern Thomas, how you going? We are we are in a bit of a bind here. We've just got we're surrounded by female deers, elks, and turkey at the moment. Uh, there's there. Oh, we've got two female blacktails down there. We do have a female white tail over there any male oh now we've got another there's the white tail there's another black tail so the calls are working they are just calling all 
Oh, that was that now. Oh, come on, game. See what I mean about cutting back the percentage of females? Just a bit. Just cut them back a bit and add some extra males. Because now we have, I don't know, what, over 10 animals around us. We've got seven elk out there. Three turkey walking in. We've got a whole bunch of female deer. And I don't want any of these animals. Okay, it is crazy, man. Oh, that's a male turkey. Where are you, buddy? Oh, he's coming in behind us. So that's a good thing. They're coming in different directions. So we'll call him. Oh, my God. Look at this paddock now. We'll try and eye off the other turkeys. See, so there's one there, but I think that's a female. I'm pretty sure there's another one at the back there somewhere too. So yeah, that's a female. So that's a female. Yeah, so they've got less colour on their head and on their wings. They sort of, you know, they look a bit dull compared to the males. We do have a male coming in this way. So that's the only male we've got at the moment. Which is a bummer. <laughs> I think maybe once we, uh, if the male comes in, we bow an arrow or shoot it, we should get, you know, rid of a lot of these females. Should nick off, hopefully. Now, this turkey's going to be hard to see coming in. It's going to be right behind here somewhere. But we won't see him pretty much till he's, you know, in the clear a bit. Oh man, I just keep seeing female deer everywhere. So yeah, Devs, if you ever, you know, just look at this video, I doubt you will. And you can see we are surrounded by females. Can you cut the percentage of them back? Just a tad. Maybe even just add another 5% males. Keep it interesting. Keep me hunting, mate. <laughs> Making money. <laughs> uh, I'll give this male turkey a call. He'll be walking in. I'm hoping he makes another noise, because we're not going to see him until he's right there. But if need be, I'll just shoot him with the gun, even just to get rid of all these females around us. Uh, well, the elk are nicking off. That is good. The turkey will keep coming in because I'm calling them. And, uh, yeah, where are the freaking uh, coyote, mate? Uh, where's the turkey deer? You should be able to see it down there. You're near it. The actual coyote in this game always remind me of healers. Are they a red, you know, like a red healer they look a bit like? Which is a cattle dog in Australia. They don't really use uh, healers for sheep because their mouths are a bit too tough. They use um, kelpies for that or border collies. But they're good for... Uh, Uh, cows and stuff to round them up. All right, turkey. It's got to be still coming in. Like we wouldn't have scared it in any way. Yeah, I can hear flapping. Oh, that's the female under me. We don't want her. Where's the male? I'm probably hearing a female doing the noise. I just don't want the female to spook now. Alright, looks like the elk have cleared out, which is good. Deer have pretty much cleared out. I've got one female turkey under me. 
and a male coming in. Yeah, go away, you. We don't want you. She's just down there. Look. Why is the male so slow in coming in? It was right early. They come in really good, didn't they, at the other spot? Uh oh, she didn't get scared? No, I don't think so. Let's crawl again. It's the only male around here. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Let's have a look at him. Oh, we need a nice boy. He's only small, though. He's only a tiny one. So he won't be worth it a, a lot. Oh, I can't crouch. Thank you. Oh. Oh, we'll go... Just make sure there's no one behind him, and then we'll go pick him up. But I, I, he's not going to be worth a lot. He's only a small one. All right, let's get down there. There you go, females are nicking off now. See you later, girls. All right, left lung, 9.2. We're going to get 61. Not too bad, better than I actually thought. It was a score of 41. So, yeah, it's not too bad for a freaking bird. Right, let's get back in our box. Try a bit more corn. If nothing happens, we'll move a bit. Alright, now back to Coyote. Oh, so the female there is still coming in. So the one directly under us nicked off, but uh, that one. <laughs> and they look, look funny, the females, don't they? You almost feel sorry for them. So when you're in a town like this, you know, your bow gets a nice workout with the deer and most of the animals. We don't want you. But that's now six male turkeys we've gotten in the hunt. So it's turned into a turkey hunt in a way by accident, <laughs> I can only shoot what rolls up. Okay, call on uh, Coyote. Usually, you know, usually by now I've got like three Coyote, so it's just one of those days when I've got something in the back there. Uh, you can't see it when, if you look without the binoculars, I can see something standing over there. I think it's another turkey walking up through the grass. Yeah, I think I can just see its head and neck there now. I don't know if it's a male or female, because it is so far away. Uh, I'll call the deer again. Oh, now I can't see that other one at all but it is at the back there but I'm thinking it may be a female If the other one's not a male, we might move. I've got camping gear on me, so we can just uh, travel across the map. But remember, once you travel in this game to an outpost or whatever, the game won't let you travel after that for another half an hour. <laughs> so yeah, you can't just uh, non-stop travel from place to place. It has like a half an hour cooldown. I can't even see this thing now at the back. It must be a bit of a ridge. I'll call again to see if it pops up. If it's a male, we'll hang around. If not, we'll go. Let's 
I'm like, hey, one more time, are we? And she is. Uh, so she'll just hang out. Oh, we're just doing a bit of a dance down there. What the hell's going on there, Turkness? Can we see you with the binoculars? Do that again. Just doing like a. Oh, it was being electrocuted. Look at that. Oh, let's do it again. It's looking straight at me, man. Look at it. It's looking at me. Hello. <laughs> Quick, fly away. I am dangerous. <laughs> I've hypnotized it. Oh, there she goes. You know, if you get a chicken, and you know, if you get a, if you have anything to do with farms, you'll probably know this. If you get a chicken, and uh, you know, gently hold its nose down in the dirt, then draw a line from its nose out and keep doing it in the dirt or sand, usually dirt. Uh, you do it for a few minutes, and the, you hypnotize the thing. They just stand there like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> it's weird. So if you hold its beak right down on the ground, but I mean just gently, and then draw a line out from its beak in front of it and keep doing that over the same line and just so that they get hypnotized. Really weird. I don't encourage you to do it. I'm just saying if you do have chickens <laughs> and you never tried it. Uh, we're moving. Uh, we're going. I'm going to go here. That old cost me three camping supplies not a problem ah uh, we've arrived we've arrived look at that it's awesome so now if I went to travel it'll tell me I can't travel for half an hour which is fair enough so we're gonna go where am I going this tree's now oh this one I think oh this one this one oh, we'll check them both I don't know which one I'm going to yet one's a double and one's a single I think the other one is what I'm I just want to see what this one is here I can't remember Oh, yeah, this is a good spot, actually. We might have a little hunt here. I did, I do get a few uh, coyote here in the past. So we're now, we've traveled to the other island. So we're up here, here, at that uh, tower, and now, now we're here. So we're on the other part of White Heart. This is where I got my big white tail here the other day. I don't know if you saw the video. I think it was just called the Big White Tail. It came down through here. And I've got a tree stand across there. And, uh, yeah, I shot this one instead of waited for the bow and arrow because I'd already had a big one that day look at me in the tree stand and then just nick off. Like, they, if they look at you, you're done. So, yeah, I just shot it with the, um, the bull pup <laughs> to make sure it didn't run off. It was a beautiful... Um, White tail, it paid 103 GM, I think. So, really nice one. Here we are. I'm walking backwards the wrong way. So, now let's hopefully, let's uh, try Cody and deer here. There'll be really no turkey around here, to be honest with you. They're sort of more on the other side of the island. Hey, did we see that big thing? No, our big, uh, I don't know if you saw that video, I've done another video on it, White Heart, there was this big, freaking like, I don't know what it was, like a, like a tower out there, man. It was a glitch, like a, something that, I don't know what the hell had happened. Uh, I'll call our arm. Oh, there we go, straight away, man, straight away. There we go, we've moved to the right part. It's a female. She'll come in. So we'll try and shoot her with the bow and arrow. And hopefully she walks head on to us here. I can actually hear feet. Yeah, another one's coming in right there. Look at that. I used to come here to hunt the coyote. I haven't, you know... 
please stop, please. All right, now I'm pretty sure we've got another one coming in. Yeah, oh man, we've got a couple of them. Oh, more than a couple. We've got one that way as well. I don't know what to do here. Uh, bow and arrow. Oh, we hit it. I don't think we hit it good. We hit it in the shoulder, maybe. Did it just go down then? I think I got another one still coming. I got something coming in. Here we go. Oh, we've hit that in the guts. There's a problem when they're moving so fast. All right, we're going. I don't think there's any more coming. I'll pick this little bugger up. I don't know the score of any of these. We didn't have time to look. It's a female, 17 kilos. It is small. All right, now we did hit the other one around here, was it? Is this track here? Let's look for blood. I think it's here. Here we go. Alright, so we've hit heart and lungs, so I don't think this one will be too far. So we'll try and pick up all three of these, get back in the stand and call in a few more. See what I mean? You just change your, your location and you find the coyote. But I, only, I expected one to walk in, we had about five then. Yeah, I think it's just dead over here, this one. I think I didn't see it walk out of here just like it dropped down but I'm pretty sure I hit that third one in the intestines it will go down but then sometimes man if you haven't good, hit it good in the intestines you might want to write it off unless you want to track for a while here we go here's our second one here all right we hit this more in the neck that's why it went oh now we've got a white tail coming in all right, so we're heading back to our tree stand right now and call this white tail in another small one. Uh, I'm 46 in three coyotes. So it gives me a score of average of 19. So I need bigger coyotes for that, both competitions that I'm in with coyotes. I'm going to call this white tail in. It'll be a white tail for sure. I actually might even go to just crouch my way back to my tree stand. As you never know the size of the white tail till you see it. It might be just a little small bugger and you go, I waited for you. But I, uh, you know, it could come around the corner. It could be that big monster you're looking for, man. So on this side of the island, where we are now, you'll get probably less, a lot less turkey and a lot less black tail. But this is where the white tail come into their own on this side. Now you can see a lot of coyote around here. But the coyote are on both sides of the island. It's just when you when you find them, you find them. We hit this one here. I reckon this will say intestines or body. Ah, it's intestines. So let's get back in our little stand. I'm calling Mr. White Tar and see how we go with him. So that's the beauty of using a bow and arrow in this game. Is I was surprised them other coyotes kept walking in after we shot the, you know, them two there, and we were able to shoot the other one. Like brilliant, really, because if we use the gun, you know. <laughs> Right, so the white tail was back out this way somewhere. We need him to call again. I'm pretty sure he hasn't run off. We didn't make much sound. Right, while he's walking in, I'm just going to quickly fill my drink up. I'm going to run out of voice. So just bear with me a minute, guys.
cold again? <laughs> I'm hoping it's on its way in, man. And I'm hoping it's huge. But that's, uh, that's you know, that's, uh, you just never know. Hey, so if you're new to this game, White Heart's a nice island to hunt. Yeah, you, know, you got your loggers point with your mule do you and white tail, and here you have your black tail. And white oh, I'm hearing something. What is that? Ah, oh, it's female. Leave it. Let's sneak in. I'll just leave her there anyway. She should hopefully just wander off. Now, Mal did call over from the back of me, so it was out this way. So, there, is that you? Are you another female? Alright, once again, I don't want to be swamped by females, please. Because I've had them ruin so many, um, you know, big males coming in, and the female spooks, and uh, the male runs off. Because if he sees her run, he knows something's up. And then, they just, boom, they're gone. I might have to end up killing her. She won't go away. Oh, what's that there? Am I looking at a male there? Am I, look am I looking at a bush? What am I looking at there? I'm looking at a bush. All right. Oh, there he is. No, no, there he is. All right, 110 to 155, not super big, but it'll be worth a few GM. Oh, the antlers look not too bad, actually. Oh, they're wide, you know, not huge. So just, you know, in case he stands there and looks at me, which they do tend to do, now quickly going to turn my back and load this bullpup. I can see it's a bit noisy on the load. And we'll give our mate another call. Because my light tails, so you know how the female just walks under us and then, you know, wanders around like an idiot. The males will stop and look and they'll, if they look right at you, you're done, mate. We're going to try and bow an arrow in, but I, I just get a bit sus with the male sometimes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to shoot him because I've got another female in front there. So I'm going to bullpup him. Uh, okay, pick him up and then we'll check because it doesn't matter that I've done that now because we still have to get the other check out the other um, coyote So this could be worth 50 GM. It's not huge Let's have a I'm try and squash this down. There we go. You can see that one antler there. You know, it's not huge, but good start. First white tail of the day, anyway. Alright, 64. It was a 126, just an average one. But 64, that's nice, man. Oh, I must be in a white tail. Oh, I am. It's the longest shot on white tail, so that wasn't a long shot. So, Alright, let's get back here to where our coyote was. Because then once we find it, we've call them back as well so we can get some more back in so we've hit in the intestines now whether or not it's uh is this where it walked in or is this where it ran out we're looking for fleeing tracks or blood you're trotting you're trotting in let me go back to the original this is where your dog comes in handy actually because your dog will go the exact right way where you are done and uh all right so it went out this way apparently 
Ah, uh, the only day I leave my dog in the tent. I'm pretty sure it ran out the other way, right? Didn't it run out in front of us? Uh, I'm going to do the... When you get confused, right, the best thing to do with these tracks is start a circle off. Alright, we know that's a trotting in track, so we're not even looking at that. Alright, we've got one out here. This could be another trotting in track. Let's see if it's got blood associated with it. No blood and it's walking the wrong way. We don't want that track. Well, I'm sure it ran out this way. Where's this next track? Where the hell did it go, mate? Or was it? I know there was two coming in. I shot one. Ah, uh, was this a track there? Alright, uh, here, this will be it. Alright, uh, we've got blood. Alright, so we've found it now. It's coming out, it did come out this way. And when you first start doing this and you're tracking, it's very hard. The tracks are further apart. Because, you know, you, you've, got to, you've got to build that up in the game. Here's our next one. Yeah, fleeing, that's what we're looking for. This will be blood, I'm hoping. Oh, yep, yeah, that's uh, more blood. The more blood, the better. It means it's, it will die quicker. Now we've got to hope it ran straight, right? And it looks like it did. Run out this way. Fleeing. Oh, got another track over here. Bears are some of the worst ones. They'll run in circles, mate. And then they run... Oh, this one. If we found it, it's dead. All right, we got it. So hopefully this is a huge one. Now, I think in these competitions, you've got to kill the coyote with one kill, one shot. But you can't double shoot them. Or disqualify the animal for the competition. It's only a small one. Ay, ay, ay. But it gave me 43 in Coyote 3 competition. Let's get back to our stand. So now we did shoot a gun. Alright, it's been a few minutes. The area will settle down. There is no, uh, yeah, no, no red marks on these maps. That doesn't happen in this game. No hunting pressure. Oh, see, so there's another coyote out there. We're going to run back to our thing. So she won't hear that from there. I actually want males to get all these bloody females today. Because they'll be, a, you know, a bit bigger in the body than the female. And will, you know, weigh more and pay more and have a better score. I might move this blind soon. I, I used to use the blind, then I thought I'll put a, a stand here and I just left the blind. So I can put that blind in another paddock. If you know a blind hunter, I'll just show you quickly what they look like inside. They're actually really good on deer and stuff. The deer will virtually walk right up to this thing. So that's, that's your view. That's what you know. You see. You're better on putting these on pr pretty much level ground and not uh, the crappy ground I've put it on. All right, we're close enough now we can call this uh, dog. Oh, let's get back in our tree, mate. Go to crouch when you get in your tree stand, just so you're not as big. And as you saw earlier, sometimes the dogs won't make a sound, they'll just come in. Right? They won't, they won't howl, let you know where they are again. They'll just start walking in. So you've got to be on your toes and just keep looking where the called out from that way. So hopefully that's the way it comes in. But then you might have one at the back you didn't hear and it's coming in anyway. So, alright, now what we've got to do is swap out. We'll put this back. With the eight bullets, without the scope, 
you don't want the scope on, just shoot closing with a coyote. And this does have, like I said earlier, it has a beautiful iron sight on it. Like you just look through that, you know, you can't miss. We're going to try and shoot with the bow and arrow, of course. But in case, just uh, have your other weapon ready. You can use the bullpup on it, but it is a lot louder. Here it is. She's in. See what I mean? How quick they come in. That's why I didn't want to call it. So we're right near the tree. Oh, man. I actually use a gun on this one. There we go. Let's go pick her up. So I mean, you don't need a scope when they're that close. You're just gonna you're gonna muck yourself up. Uh, it's obviously a female said that was coming in. It's a bit bigger than the other one. And uh, oh, only 19. Let's get back in our box. So we've got a few coyotes now. We have to move to find them. That's cool. I don't mind that. And we'll call our deer as well. We see, she didn't make a sound. They just walk in. Which can bring you undone sometimes. Because they can sneak in behind you and you hear this and it's running off like a fox. On my white tail would be nice too, wouldn't it? At least now I can leave the coyote hunt up in the description and the, on the thumbnail because we've got more than five of them, I think, now. Or five of them or something, so. Four or five of them. Oh, we did get one earlier at the other tower. I think, well, we got, since we've been here, four. So we've gotten five coyotes. Two black tail, one white tail. I think five turkeys, so... Now, all up, you know, even though it seems slow, slower than Call of Wild, you're still getting a lot of animals. You just got to be a bit more patient and be a little bit more on your toes with the coyote, foxes, wolves. I like the 2 2 3 because it's not very loud. It's a nice, quiet gun. And you try not to use it, but sometimes the coyote's moving in that fast. We probably, you know, with the bow, you, you know, instead of hitting the lungs, sometimes you hit the back, you hit the neck, you hit the shoulder blade, you hit the guts, like we did on that last, the other one. And to save all the tracking and mucking around, I just pull out the gun sometimes and smack it with that. What time is it on our clock here? 10.46. So what time did I start in this game? 6 in the morning, I think. So we've been in game nearly 5 hours, and we've got over 10 animals. That's pretty cool. That's not bad. And my GM count now <laughs> uh, is good. It keeps going up. I do want to buy some more tree stands, a few more happy camper tents. Although I did win one with the Lunar um, New Year thing. I've done that mission. I got 3,000 GM and a happy camper tent and a little trophy for completing the mission. But believe me, you put a tent out and, you know... You want it to stay there because you use this, you know, you use it a lot, like the you know tent we had near here. So yeah, then you put one out, then you gotta go get another one. You gotta buy one or save up for it. Well, luckily, I won one in the the lunar competition. But like the two days before that competition, I bought a happy camper tent, <laughs> and I won one. Like okay, sort of evens out. 
But it's two two three in the Call of Wild weapon pack of all. Yeah. Well, they're gonna have the twenty two. I think it, you know. If they're going to bring in guns like this, they do a 22, do a, maybe a 223 and do one a bit bigger. Then use it on, you know, deers and uh, the wolves and, uh, you know, Cody and stuff in that game. Would be nice. But I think they've brought it out for the raccoons mainly. Yeah, you can use it on your turkey and uh, rabbits. With the 22. So I have a 22 in this game. I don't own one, actually. I don't own a 22. I do own the air rifle in this game. Which you can use on rabbits and most of the birds. <laughs> I hunt rabbits sometimes. In this game, I do. I don't in uh, Call of the Wild that much, really. In this game, I find them interesting. If you find the holes like we did the other night at Valdos Boys, I think we ended up getting 11 rabbits. So, you know, if they all sort of worth 30 or 20 or whatever, some are worth a bit more GM, you, you know, you get 11 on them, you make a few bucks. Uh, it's called deer again. If you haven't seen, I'm not trying to advertise my channel, I never tell people to watch my videos, but if you haven't seen the, it was only a couple of weeks ago, I don't know, a few weeks ago, and it's just a, I think it's like a six minute video, and it's just called the Big White Tail, and this is where I get it, right here, and it's a beautiful looking white tail, and believe me, it's not the biggest white tail you can get in this game, so if you look at that one, and then imagine that they get a lot, you know, bigger than that, that, man... And what about great ones? In this game, when you get a big animal, they are huge, man. Especially deers. Mule deer, white tail, elk, and uh, the red deer. If you get a really big one of them, it's like it's got trees coming out of its head. Without the leaves. <laughs> Without the, the annihilation reference. It's so I can easily, I'm happily play this game because this is the game I started with. I played this years and years and years before Call of the Wild come out. And I was making videos about this game. I remember that they talked about Call of the Wild and it was coming out. And I made a video, you know, I think it was another short one, just saying I think that the Call of the Wild is going to be more of an arcade game. And I, I was glad that it was going to be. You need to separate both the games because this is a simulator, more of a simulator. And I was right, when it came out, like, once again, I didn't get a copy before anyone else. Who cares did, Ron did, other trusted content creators, which I'm obviously not, got um, the call a while before everyone. And they had, like, this weekend, and then I looked at the Who Cares video on that. And I sort of, you know, I thought, oh, well, the graphics are looking good. But I, still, I was still thinking, oh, it's going to be an arcadey, more of an arcadey type game. Which is okay, you know, nothing wrong with that. But for me, I like it more, you know, down to earth, a bit more real. The animals do get scared. You actually, you know, you got to hunt them. You can't call bears in this game. There's a lot of animals you can't call. You actually you can't call, you know, the ibex. You can't call buffalo or, or bison. You know, you just got to get out there and hunt them. And then they made that thing called, a while. if you take that certain skill or the trait... You know, a, a deer caller will call on rabbits. You know, well, we can't do that in this game. You can't call on rabbits. You can't swap around a caller and make a call in another animal. It's just, <laughs> you know, it's just, this is just more down the earth. You, know, you can't call in uh, and goats. You can't call in kangaroos. But you can have a, there is a goat, um, like a, 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 a uh, what do they call it? It's like a liquor thing, a salt lick or something. If you put that out, it's like a bear barrel or a, a pig feeder. 
after so many hours the ghosts will start to gather around it but that's you know more based on real life hunting That's why I encourage people, if you've never played this game and you do have a PC, check it out. I think it's only a 6 gigabyte download. That's with all the reserves, all the guns, all the crap. So if you've got a good internet connection, within an hour the game will be downloaded and ready to play. And they give you two free guns. Two, four, three and a shotgun. They give you free bullets for them guns for every hunt. And, you know, you get out on a map like this and go after some white tile. And black tile, because I'll give you the deer bleak caller, they won't give you this deer grunt. But the deer bleak and deer grunt work on the same level. It'll still call the same amount of bucks in. Just I prefer the sound of the grunt and the, the actual bleak gets a bit annoying. Although I did use it for years before I actually bought the deer grunt. And I got plenty of bucks with it. So on calling level, on the amount of animals they attract, it's pretty much exactly the same. They just sound different. But then these are the callers you've got to go out and buy. Like if you want to get um, foxes and the coyote, they'll come to the jackrabbit caller readily, really good. Well, you can call the cats with them, but the cats seem to be a bit more, I don't, you know, they won't come in as much. I think the bobcat will come in more with the jackrabbit caller than a puma or a lynx. Yeah, anyway, but apart from that. But that's just me, so I'm biased. I'll admit that. I'm biased towards this game over Call of the Wild, so. Don't take it for me, try it yourself. If you have a PC, just try it for yourself. Totally different game than Call of the Wild. And you gotta, when you come in here, relax. Relax in this game. Don't try and, uh, you know, rush it. Go fast. Don't run. Yeah, you know, unless you've just shot an animal, that's fine. Then run. If you run in this game, all the animals are going away. You're not going to shoot any of them, man. They'll, they'll hear you coming. <laughs> unless you're at White Rhyme Ridge, then you can run and gun. Oh, thanks, Kern. Very uh, nice of you to say that. I tried to do it, you know, during the week I was doing midnight streams to like, I stayed up to 3.30 in the morning one. Then I try and, you know, then on the weekend bring it down to a daytime stream. Let's try so I can catch uh, people that want to see it. I can catch all the different times during the week. Uh, looks like our, everyone's, uh, we've shot them all. Where are they? <laughs> Now, I might move now. We do have one more double tree stand. And we might go look at that. It is just here. And then we've got... It's a nice area. So we've got a tower there, a tower there. So this is what I mean. Like on this map, you just whack out a few blinds and tree stands. You really... Because the amount of towers on this map, man, it, it becomes then a really beautiful place to hunt. Oh, we're moving. That's what we're doing. All right, pull out the hunter, mate. We'll stand up. And we'll aim for that dot on my hunter, mate. And uh, we'll see if we can pull something in over there. This is this stand is more near the water. So you get the deer and that right down near the water. Then there's a big forest behind it. So it's not a bad spot. And you do get a coyote here as well and elk. Uh, you know, if you look at a double tree stand in this game, I've won this tree stand in the for the werewolf. Every year when you, if you do the werewolf mission, one was called Ritual of the Skulls, I think the first one, and last year it was called something else. But if you do the whole mission, you get, I don't know, it was 6,666 GM, or it was 666 GM, or something like that. You get a trophy, and you'll also get um, a double tree stand, which is worth, I don't know, like ten to 12,000 GM, or something like that. They're pretty expensive, so to win one, and I've won two of these uh, double tree stands, saves me a lot of GM money just for doing a mission once a year. 
Although the werewolves will kill you a lot. It is very dark on timber coal trails and spooky when they do it. It's only once a year. So why not? It's a nice map too. Uh, just nice to walk around this map. Now if you did have the Jeep, this would be one of the maps you could actually use it on. Because this map has a lot of roads like this. I've never, I've never been interested in the Jeep. I think it's just going to be a noisy piece of crap that scares all the animals off. I'd rather walk. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got a cat man. Got a bobcat. Let's go low. We, you know, there is a chance we can call this thing in with the um, jackrabbit caller. But I'm not going to bet any money on it, put it that way. We'll just let it let us know that, that there is a call out there. Now, probably with Bobcat, although I don't really hunt them, I think in my time of, you know, them being around, I've called three in with the, or three or four with the Jackrabbit Caller. You can see the double tree stand there on that tree. You can tell the difference, how big it is. There it is there. So this is another nice paddock with the trees in front of it, the trees we just walked through behind us. So a lot of deer and coyote and we've just been through there. And uh, yeah, you'll get um, elk and the deer down near the river here as well. And obviously bobcat is down there. So sh sh the bobcat was more down to, the, I think, the left and a bit more towards the water. So let's get in this. Alright, in. Alright, stand up. Now, if you can change uh, size in this, how do we do it again? We press E. And you just press the middle button, is it? This button. Which button? Oh, that one. That one. And you can swap sides. How do I do it again? E and swap. Yeah, so we swap sides about here. So we'll call it Bobcat. But like I said, you know, fat chance of it coming in really. And we'll call Deer while we're here. Last time I was here, I got a lot of white tail here. And if you look at the map there, so they're all, they hang around a lot down this little lake down here. And you know, Back in here where we just were shooting. Let's try the bobcat. But yeah, I doubt it's going to come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe it is coming, man. Hey, just go growl over there. It's like it's just on the other side of the road there. Now, I'm pretty sure I can shoot the bobcat to 223. We don't have to use a bow and arrow on it. I'm going to give the little bugger another call. And what we're going to do is pop the scope back on this. Because we'll probably be shooting at long distance if we do see it. So it'd be nice if we just saw it walk out there across that road now. It'll give us a bobcat, mate. It's, oh, it's on the other side of the road. I do have the electronic call. I don't have the bobcat thing though. I bought the Lynx one. Eventually I will. I think they're only like a 1500 for the, you know, like the, you buy the electronic call, it's like 8000 GM or something. Then the, the actual individual caller for like a Lynx is like 1,500 and then you, you can buy the Bobcat one, then you can buy the Puma one. Now my Bobcat, uh, what shows up on the Hunter Mate will be off by at least 50 metres or so, because uh, my tracking and that isn't good on Bobcats. 
And like I said, it may not come. And I'm not going to go after it. You know, we could walk down the lake and maybe see it standing around. Like, I don't know. I have seen them down there you know, at lakes before. I'd try and call it up first. Because once again, they're super sensitive, man. They'll hear you walking towards them. You've got to be very careful with these things. And it's a cat. <laughs> they're like the ultimate hunter. Because unlike dogs, you know, they can sort of like claw up a tree and sort of flip through the air and stuff, can't they? They're like little ninjas. But at last time I was here, I had the same thing. Right? I could hear a bobcat, like over there, and then over there, and I kept walking. I just, I couldn't find it, man. I kept hearing it, but it wouldn't show itself. I actually did go down the lake, and I still couldn't find it. Must not forget to call Whitetail while we're here. It's, uh, you know... I said last time I was here, I got a lot of white tail, but it was m more towards the afternoon that day. But I've had the electronic caller here with the bobcat thing in it, and we put it out there, and then we put that spinning thing in. We might be able to get this in then with that. The electronic caller, they come to it. That's why, you know, they make you buy it, really. You don't know if you want cats. And that's how I got my first links the other week, was with the electronic caller. I'd, I'd never gotten the links in uh, Classic before. I'd heard them, seen their tracks and their poop. But, yeah, never actually got one. Hey, going, Andrew? Andrew Powers. Hope you have a good one. Oh, it's still corn. Is it getting closer? It's a female. Ah, it's right down near the lake. Uh, we might crawl down here. Oh, go to crouch. I'll go have a look at the lake. Because sometimes I've seen the cats and they'll be walking along the lake. You'll have to go for a long shot, but, you know, if we're lucky, then it seems to be hanging around down here and not coming to me. I might go see if we can see it. Uh, this is, you know, <laughs> chances are we're not gonna, but, hey, right, if we don't try, we don't know. Let's look at the hunter mate again. I'm not really going to get an accurate reading of this. It was more over this side and still on the other side of the road. So let's just stay wide so we don't make a lot of noise. Although we still could be making too much noise right now. I won't call till we actually, you know, can stop moving and get down there. Alright, here's the lake. One of the lakes on this map. There's a few lakes on this map. The only small is one sort of decent sized one. Right, now let's look along it. That's why I'm hoping we can see the cat. Like if it comes down to the water. Yeah, probably get a clear shot from here. So let's get right down to here. Ah, uh, good position right here. Let's give a call and see if anything answers. Yeah, 
Yeah, but to get a cat with the jackrabbit claw, it's all luck and hope, in a way. But I was hoping that it would come down here for a drink and we could see it and then shoot it. We're in a nice spot here. We're in the shade. I think it would be hard to see. I do hear the cats down here a fair bit, but to, um, yeah, actually see them, that's a different, uh, <laughs> different thing sometimes. But I'm hope, oh, Cody, Cody's coming. I don't know how big he is, let's give him a call. I just saw Cody walking around the back there. He should be coming up over here somewhere. Or her. There it is. What are you? Oh, it ran. It ran. So maybe the cat has run. Maybe the wind has given me in. You think so? Look, at, I, I'm not moving. So what did it run from? Did it run from the cat? Did it smell me? There it goes. There it is. It's coming back. Maybe it didn't see me. That was weird because it just all of a sudden turned and ran. I don't know why. Usually it's because of me. But will it come back? Yes. Are you male or female? You are. A not so big female. Oh, what's behind it? Something popped out. Oh, saw me down. Oh, it was two coyotes. Oh, we might go back to the tree stand. Because for some reason, I think the wind is giving me away here. Something is. They pretty much looked straight at me then and ran, didn't it? So. What are these tracks? Any of these the cat? You're a coyote, aren't you? Yep. And you probably are too. Oh, there's that bobcat roaming. And it went down that way. Oh, we've got something in the middle of the road here. What is that? I see anything? Ah, uh, female white tail. Hey, see, there's plenty of animals around here. She ran. Alright, we have stirred the area up. I probably should have stayed in my tree stand. I just was hoping to see that cat down by the lake. Oh well. Yeah, it could be the bad wind. Like, it only has to be slightly blown towards them in this game and they smell you. <laughs> so yeah, it keeps you on your toes. Once you're in a tree stand, that sort of stops the smell. Although they can still smell you in a strong wind, but I mean it's just not as prevalent as when you're on the ground. So let's get back in it. A lot of coyotes on this side of the map today. That's nice. We just saw another two. We killed four while we were here at the other tree stand. A lot of them around this side of the map today. Wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? The double tree stand. Uh, back in. Uh, back with the callers now. Dear and Coyote, hang on, let me, I want to go to the, I want to change sides. There we are. Yeah, so like, a, you know, bobcats are hard to, uh, electronic call is the way to go with them bloody things. Oh, 
Although the bobcat is the only one who has ever come to my jackrabbit call, like four times. So they do do it. It's just uh, rare. <laughs> it's very rare. Damn, like those coyotes, huh? Oh, the female was small anyway. She wasn't big. That's what, it would keep getting female coyotes. We need a nice size male, at least 53 would be nice. 55 would be better, but that's like pushing your luck uphill. Well, they might not have ran too far. We didn't shoot any guns or do anything stupid, so... We will find out. Man, I'm getting hungry. Must have been all those turkeys earlier. I used to feel like a turkey sandwich. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to go down to the supermarket later. Pain in the butt. No, you got to do it. Oh, hang on. While I'm here, I've got to turn on my mobile phone. I was trying to contact a friend yesterday. Oh, you got to go on phone? There you go. The phone is on. I actually got one of those, um... Uh, I bought out there like, uh... The old Nokia phone, but they, they updated them. Just for, you know, something to do. Because they used to be really... Po I bought... I threw away... I still got a smartphone, but I don't like them. So I went out and bought this for 50 bucks. Smartphones are too big. They run out of battery every day. Uh, just a distracting thing for people. So I hit them with a hammer <laughs> and uh, get yourself an old style phone. That, you know, you don't really want to be sitting there looking at the internet and, blah, 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 and people send you all these clips of crap that you don't care about. They're just a distraction. They're like a phone to use as a phone. <laughs> People ring me, I ring them. And that's it. Eh? That's it, that's what I use a phone for. If I want to go on the internet, look, I'm on the internet now. Eh? Let's use a computer. But I suppose, you know, it's handy for a lot of people, I get it, you know. But for me, it was just an, an annoyance. It was so big to carry around and heavy. It was one of those Apple ones. It was just, you know. I still got it. Just uh, never use it. <laughs> Your phone's too old to even use. The login code. I support to use. Yeah, they've, uh, my friend that I was trying to contact yesterday, he's a... Uh, he was still on G3, I think, and they're turning that off here in Melbourne. Um, so I don't know if you've got a, an updated G4 phone. But he doesn't want a smartphone either. He wanted one like mine. Or something like that, where it's just a phone. You know, you can text. You know, you can still take photos on this phone. But um, I don't use it as a camera. I actually have a camera worth over a thousand dollars that takes awesome freaking photos and film <laughs> I use a camera <laughs> so yeah I'm just old school I did try the smartphone I had it for like six months and I just went nah it's garbage no thank you Alright. Oh, yeah. Well, so I can't do that either with my phone. Yeah, I'm supposed to sign in. Don't blame me that, you know, says John Rambo signed in after I walk away. Or John Wick. 
or John McLean. I love putting the Johns down. John Rambo. <laughs> hey, look at the supermarket. John Wick was here today. I mean, people are dead in the supermarket. That guy's crazy. John Wayne. You can go old school and put John Wayne. Hey, Landon, how you going? What's my rank currently in, in this event? The Coyote one? I think last Coyote got I was 118th in... Uh, the main one, Coyote Ugly, and then Coyote 3, I'm like 40-something, something like that. <laughs> I am way down, my friend. I'm hearing something. I uh, sound like a deer, actually. Oh, it is. It's a... F no, it's a Coyote. Right through the freaking middle of the head, baby. I love this gun. Let's go pick it up. Look like a bit of a chunky one, too. Could it be a male? Could it be the male we're looking for? Mm, maybe. Looks chunky. We don't know. Let's see. They've all been female today. It's a female! <laughs> come on, man! Oh, come on! That's garbage! <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> oh, that was the worst coyote of the day! That was horrible. Uh, well, you know, let, let me, once again, it's put me in the wrong position here. I want to be on this side, thank you. Now, I could use a bow and arrow on there, but it was walking in fast. Sometimes I just like to pull out that two, two, three and rip on one. This is a beautiful little gun, this, isn't it? Reload. Now we've got five in it. So we started with ten. Oh, we've got six in it. Sorry. Um, so I've used four shots out of this for four animals. So nice. I told you those coyotes before when they ran too far. So uh, they came in. Now, I'm not buying a new phone either, the scanning stuff that I don't care about either. So, that I wouldn't be using for that anyway. So, I don't know, I don't need one. <coughs> it was a bit tragic though yesterday, like I, I was ringing my friend. You know, he's an old dude, he used to be a hippie mate. Back at Nimbin in the day. Yeah, he lived on a commune and he's like 75 or 76. And the last time I saw him, which was before Christmas, he wasn't feeling that well. Uh, so I said, look, I'll con you know, we had a chat and a few beers and that. Uh, look, I'll contact you after Christmas and uh, yeah, we'll have a few beers and chat. I couldn't contact him. So I walked down to my local here where everyone knows me and knows him. But so the tragic thing is that I had to hang over the beer garden and ask. I'm not allowed in because, um, you know, I didn't do what they asked me to do. <laughs> so I can't go in a in a pub or anything. So then I thought, oh, well, that's sort of tragic, but it's still uh, bad luck for them, mate. They don't get to share my company. Right? <laughs> oh, that coyote walked in really quick. But in a way, I didn't care either. No, I didn't really care. That I couldn't go in. I just wanted to find out, you know, when we, if it, they'd seen me, mate. And they said, "Yeah, we saw him yesterday." They go, "He's, he's having trouble with his phone because it's 3G, so he still hasn't got the 4G phone. That's why he's not answering. They've probably cut it off." But just because he was a bit crook last time I saw him, I thought I better check up on him and make sure everything's fine. Nothing's gone wrong.
So yeah. Be nice to get a, you know, a decent white tail. We've got an okay one, it's just average. Be nice to get a really big one, but that's pushing a crap uphill. That's for sure. Um, we're not going to get a bobcat, that is for sure. <laughs> I don't think so. Not with the jackrabbit call. <coughs> yeah, but I like my um, ordinary dumb phone. Like if I charge this up, it lasts a week. I could charge this up and go camping for four days, mate. And I won't run out of battery. I go camping for six days. It'd still be gone. You do them smartphones, after a while, every day you got to put on the charger. This thing's crap, mate. And then if you forget, you know what I mean? You wake up the next day, it's, it's flat. It's like, oh, get out of here, man. You think they'd be able to build better batteries, right? Oh, they should make the freaking thing solar-powered, mate. Just leave it in the sun for an hour and it's... <laughs> and plus, they bring out a new one each year. It's like, oh, look, he spent $1,000 on that phone. Oh, you're going to have to spend another 1000 next year. Because, you know, you know you're know you going to want the new model, aren't you? Like, a lot of people queue up for these stupid things. I feel like saying, what is wrong with you, dude? you got a phone. What's this other one going to do? Take a better picture? What's it? <laughs> what newfangled things does it have on it that you really need? But, oh, well, you know, everyone to their own, which is fair enough. I don't care. Now, my niece laughs, laughs at my phone. I go, hey. I go, how many times do you ever charge your phone a week, mate? <laughs> Plus, this phone I got here fits in any pocket. It's beautiful. You don't even know you got it on you half the time, it's that small. Well, that's enough about phones. I don't really like them anyway. <coughs> I think because uh, I worked in an office for five years. Um, at a pathology. I was a results clerk. And I was talking to doctors in hospitals all day on the phone. That You'd put your phone down, it just rang again. Another call. Another, it was just non-stop, man. You know, some days. So I sort of, you learn to hate the phone a bit. <laughs> Who's freaking ringing me? And you realize, oh no, I'm not at work. It's okay, it's a friend. <laughs> no, I'd never want to work in an office again, man. Five years walk, working in a room full of women, I tell you, they can get nasty. Women can get pretty nasty, mate, with each other and with me. <laughs> But it was a job that sort of made me, um, that job has sort of made me, um, what do you call it, a bit dyslexic, in a way, with numbers, and sometimes I look at things backwards by accident, and it's because you have to be so precise. If a doctor, like a, a, a lot of times, I had a doctor ring me, and so they had a patient in the Epworth Hospital, and they're about to cut them open, and they want to know values of the tests that were done an hour ago. And man, you've got to read out error for that, greater than, this, that, and you, half the time you're speaking in Latin, because a lot of the stuff's in Latin. And you have to be really precise, and I've done that for five years, and I think when I got out of there, it sort of broke my brain a bit. So now sometimes I read out things a bit backwards, or I get numbers wrong, which I never used to. And I think it was that job that done it. It sort of broke my brain a bit. Because you knew if you made a mistake, it could be someone's, you know, you could injure someone or something could happen bad. So you really had to be super, super accurate. Because you're reading them out off a computer screen. They've just come down from the lab. And he's about to cut this dude open. Man, I'm telling you. 
you feel the pressure. <laughs> you know you got to do it all exactly right. So I've done that for five years. I think it sort of broke something in my brain with numbers and uh, sometimes just reading things out a bit backwards, which I never used to do. And there's no way you're going to be able to prove that you got that from that job, you know what I mean? Like if you went for a compensation saying, I think you've broken my brain a bit, they'd just sort of say, ah, nah, it's, you know, you're just an idiot or something. So you just got to wear it, man. <laughs> it's like, okay. So that part of my brain's a bit broken now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We, you know, I remember the CEO then gave us this talk about how loyal we've got to be to the company because a lot of people were getting uh, scooped up by other hospitals and uh, pathologies in Melbourne because they needed, you know, to be in that profession. If you've got a year behind you, you know exactly what you're doing, that you don't need to be trained, they want you because you can just go there the first day and just start working and no one has to train you or anything. So a lot of people were getting uh, probably better offers and moving on. So the CEO told us, oh, it's best if you're loyal and stay with Melbourne Pathology. We'll look after you and blah, 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 blah. Two months later, he went to the, the opposing pathology to be their CEO. It's like, oh, great, you give us that speech. You get offered a few extra bucks and you're gone. Good on you, bud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Talk about hypocrite. Well, they were a bit dumb. Like, when I started there, they just, they were a big company in Sydney and they opened this thing in Melbourne and changed their name. They went from Sonic to Melbourne Path and their share price was like $7. Within two years of uh, the, our, we were all new people in the results area. And the whole place was like pretty much a whole bunch of new people all trained up, ready to go. And we took the share price to over 14 bucks. And once that happened, they started to clamp down on us. And then, you know, if someone was sick, they wouldn't replace them. If someone on holiday, they wouldn't replace them. They were making you work harder and harder and harder as their share price was going up. But we're making this company like a, a freaking billion dollar company. And then they're whipping us in the back for doing it. It's like, I don't get it. And then it turned the whole, um, like, feel of the office into something that wasn't you know, it was good going to work and we all had this good camaraderie, camaraderie going on and then once they started doing stuff like that, it just sort of broke everything. And they ruined their, they sort of ruined their own business because then people are looking for other jobs. They're going, nah, I'm going to try and get another job for Epworth or Dorovich or, you know, one of the competition. So it was dumb on their part the way they went. But oh well, I ended up leaving after five years anyway. Yeah, money, 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 Barry. That's exactly right. Yeah, you know, we doubled their share price some more, and it's like they got mad at us <laughs> and then started to punish us just for, you know, doing normal things we'd usually do. So, like, wow, it was crazy. I didn't get it, but um, I didn't like it either. There's not a lot you can do, mate. You either stay or leave. In the end, I left. I did go out on a bang though. Like they started doing uh, monthly assessments on everyone. <coughs> and one of the, like, there was only like three males that worked in the whole office. And the rest was, you know, all female. And the male that went in and had his assessment before I went in, went in and made up all these BS stories about me, right? They didn't assess him, they assessed me through him. And then when I went in there, they started you know, having a go at me. And I just went right off my nut at him, mate. All right, to where the manager had to walk out the room and I go to the supervisor, I go, where the hell's she gone, all right? And she just sat there, didn't know what to say. 
Then they dismissed me out of the room and I went straight to the guy who I knew who dogged me and I went bananas at him, mate. And they come out and go, Glenn, you better go outside and have a cigarette and calm down. You know? I was ready to punch this guy <laughs> through the... Through, you know, I was just ready to snap him in half, mate. And they could tell, like, the whole feel of the office that all the women just shut up. No one knew what to do. I was going bananas off my head, mate, swearing and shouting. You know? And they just all flipped out. No, I didn't get the sack or anything. Uh, there was no punishment for me after that. They just sort of, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget that. <coughs> Turkey, how you going, mate? Any viewer goose hunt? Any, well, we had a goose hunt two days ago and I invited everyone to come and then we hunted goose. And then we went and hunted duck. It was a multiplayer hunt. So I just done it already like two days ago. So there may not be another one for a week or so. Like I, you know, try and do streams where it's just me mainly. So I can keep up the chat and talk to people and make it feel more personal. And then when you have a multiplayer hunt, I'm talking to them. I'm missing chat. All this stuff's going on. It just seems to me to be a less of a stream for the people who are watching it. So, you know, I don't know. Sent to the far end of the farm after a blue. Yeah, it happens, man. You know. Yeah, you miss again. Sorry, Turkey. But I don't really advertise it because I just want the people who are watching this stream to have the opportunity to jump in and have a hunt. So I just sort of do it that way. I don't put out a thing and the day before or six hours before saying, hey, you're going to be a multiplayer hunt. So, yeah, I'd, maybe I should change that. Maybe give people warning. I don't know. But I usually like to do it so then if the people that are watching my stream, they get first opportunity to come in and uh, shoot a, you know, a goose or a, or a duck or whatever. But yeah, well, maybe I'll swap that around and advertise it a bit, bit more. Um, you've got a 9.3 break action and a 12 gauge semi, and have five kgms. What should you buy, man? I, you know, what should you save for? Biggest question in this game, mate. Do you need equipment? Do you need a weapon? You know, what does come in handy in this game? I'll give you a tip now. Like, I've used it up more than I've used the gun today, is this. Bow and arrow, mate. Alright, this is a snake mite. They've got one that's a bit uh, lower. Bit, you know, it's not as strong, but it's uh, more quieter, which is the Parker Python. They have a reverse cross, uh, draw crossbows. They have crossbows. So the bows in this game, if you, you know, stand hunting or in towers or even just walk around, they, like I've shot more animals. This is, I've shot more animals with this weapon than any other weapon I own in this game is my bow. So, you know, they come in real handy. And when you are deer hunting, if you've got multiples coming in, like, you know, you can kill that deer. Like we've done it before with the coyote, we hit, well, I think three coyote with the bow and arrow, they kept coming in. That was just weird. So, they're a handy tool in this game. If you like bow hunting, you know, could be... I'm not saying do it, up to you, whatever, you, you know. But for a weapon that you end up using a lot and you make a lot of money on because they're so quiet and you can have three deer coming in at once, knock that one down... Then the other one comes up, knock him down. That one comes up, knock... You get, instead of just shooting a gun and the other two run off, you get all three of them. You had the forest camo compound. All right, the pulsar. All right, that's, uh, they're all cool. You got a bow, that's cool, man. But yeah, it's individual in this game. It depends on what type of hunt you like. Do you like bolt actions? Do you like uh, lever actions? You know, I don't know, so...
try and buy something that you can shoot a lot of animals with. <laughs> I don't know. The 4570 is a good gun. If you don't own that, you can shoot a wide range of, you know, the big animals with that. You can shoot the water buffalo, the bison, bantang, red deer, elk with the 4570, wild boar. Most likely the feral hog as well, I think. I like it. I like the 45-70 in this game. Whereas in a, the other game, it's not as good. It all comes down to personal preference. What do you, you know, what would you rather? So it's hard for me to tell people what to shop for in this game. Like I can indicate this gun's good because you can shoot a lot of animals with it. But then there's another gun that you can do the same thing with. We'll shoot a lot of animals with it. Want to be a bolt action? Won't, won't, you know? So it's just a really personal choice. The thing is, as long as you're not using uh, real money. Uh, have a good one, Barry. Thanks for popping in, mate. I, I won't be on uh, much longer either. I've got to go to... Uh, what is the time? Yeah, I've got to probably about another 10 minutes. So I've got to head out myself. I've got to go to the supermarket. I've got to start you know, getting some food. You're honestly looking at the 308. Yeah, apparently that's a nice gun. It's very popular. I don't own it, but I've watched the video on it. And apparently it's a really nice gun. It's pretty powerful. So yeah, you might want to look at that. Just Plus look at videos that people have made with the different weapons you'll find a lot of them out there who cares would have done a few and you know other people would have would have done uh videos on certain weapons in this game there we go we've got, we have a white tail out there oh beautiful let's keep calling him in there but there's so many guns in this game it's hard to uh you know say hey buy that one <laughs> on Christmas you blew a hundred dollars wow just to have a ah oh, the duck set up because I was first year yeah well I spent real money on my duck hunt and goose uh, set up as well but then once you've got them in they're a good thing you actually make a lot of money on them setups you don't just shoot one or two ducks, you shoot like 20 to 30, same with the geese. And then you pick them all up and you've got a heap of GM. Uh, and, you know, in this game, once you put uh, a tent down, uh, a duck or goose set up or a turkey set up, they never move. Like they never, a beaver never falls on them or anything. They're there forever. Like, I've had blinds in this game probably, you know, like, that blind there has been there for six, seven years. That one there. Probably that one too there. Uh, this uh, turkey set up here has probably been there for eight years. Hasn't moved. Same with that tent. They're always there. So that's one thing you can guarantee in this game. You put a tent, a blind down, a tree stand, anything, it'll be there next time you come. And it'll be there for the next how many years you're playing the game. Did you buy what? Did you buy the Canada goose? Oh, you bought the duck set up, you said, wasn't it? So, so, so just just me at Christmas, yeah, you blew. Had, I had the duck set up, yeah. Yeah, duck hunting's really good. I enjoy it. Let's go to Ruggaroo Bayou. Beautiful map. You have the black bear, um, white tail, feral hog. And bobcat there, I think, too. Is it bobcat there? I'm pretty sure it's bobcat. So that is a nice map. I want to, like, one or two bobcat there from a great distance. <laughs> I could see him in the distance, and I took the long shot, you know. I can hear feet. I think I've got a deer coming up behind me somewhere. But I think it's a female. Yeah, one thing you can't stand cool while well, place a tent. Yeah, that's a, you know you place stuff out in that game and uh, the beaver falls on it. 
like I've done back in the day like Leighton Lakes and uh, Hirschfelden and, uh, and another couple of maps had my tents all over them and you know so I go directly to that spot to hunt and here and there and then you come in and oh, the beaver fell on the beaver fell on I was like oh my god where's this beaver I'll shoot the beaver <laughs> But it's because when you log into that ground, like the earth and renders and it moves, I think, sometimes to land in that ground, in that game. So then if it moves where you got that tent, it'll just uh, then sort of destroy it and, th and it tells you that a beaver fell on it. <coughs> you know, it's all good. In this game, that you'll never lose them. Which is fine by me. I like to put something out, and when I come there the next time, it's still there. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're the male. You're not very big. I'm going to put the bull pup in, in case he does look at me in the eye. I couldn't be bothered having him run off. Cool, it's going to have a massive up. Yeah, it's going to have a... An upgrade. Apparently they're working on the geese and the ducks. Yeah, they're fixed, are they? Pop resets on four different maps and so... Yeah, they're bringing in uh, semi-auto 22 as well. So, yeah, there's some uh, new stuff coming to that game. I'm waiting for the fix because my game's broken. So I'm waiting for them to fix it. Come on in, buddy. Oh, it's still a good game, but I prefer this game. Just, just me. <laughs> now, I've made over 400 videos on Call of Wild, so it's, you know, not a game I don't like. I do like it. But it's nice to have a rest from it, too. And get back into this game. Uh, where'd that freaking deer go? It's probably behind the bush, or it went down in the gully there a bit. I have to wait till it comes out. Oh, uh, the wind's blowing that way a bit. That's why I pulled out the bull pup because uh, it might smell me when it gets a bit closer. You still coming in? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I don't know. It might be a little bit bigger than our first one we got. Maybe. Uh, once again, it's not very big. Oh, I don't have a lot left. Probably after this, dear, I'm going to head out. I'm going to finish the stream. i got, you know, it's afternoon now here and I haven't done anything in my day. i actually got to go to the supermarket. I've got a few things to do here at home. I've got to cook my dinner or, or have breakfast or lunch or something. I've got to eat. I haven't eaten yet. Uh, if you look, I've been going for three and a half hours. So it hasn't been a short stream. It's been a nice one. They're nice looking, aren't they? They're a nice looking animal. So he's going to keep walking to the call. Stop. You going to stop? There we go. Uh, Bullpup's a nice gun, because you can shoot, you know, fairly quick out of it. So the first shot, I did try and go the heart shot. We probably hit a lung, missed the heart on this one. Oh, hit body. So I've just sort of stuck it in the chest. And people think it's a .308. There's going to be a three weapons. Yeah, three weapons in the pack, yeah. One's going to be the semi-auto, and I don't know what the others are. I haven't really been paying attention to that guy. I just know there's a semi-auto coming. Ah, yeah, this is still just average. It may be a little bit bigger than our first one. But as you can see, they've got a big body on them, though, the white tail. They've got a nice body on them. It just it all depends on the rack on how big that is. Oh, yeah, we did hit body first shot, but then that second shot really slaughtered it. Oh, no trophy integrity. 
Really? None. We didn't hit the... I don't know why. We didn't hit the antlers. We're still going to get 65 GM. All right, let's still counter for that competition. Which is to further a shot on a white tail. That's not going to get anywhere. Anyway, guys, on that note, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm running out of boys for going three and a half hours. I'm sorry you just joined this turkey, but don't worry, you'll catch the next one, hopefully. And we'll have another multiplayer hunt. Maybe next time I'll advertise it before I have it. I just usually I like the people who are there at the stream to have the first opportunity to get in, but uh, we'll see how that works out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to put a pin in it there and, uh, yeah, I'll be back uh, maybe tomorrow night. Maybe tonight. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I have no idea. But thanks for dropping in. Really appreciate it. And catch you all.